it's lower than my desk, but you know, it's there. We're the same height sitting down. Now I'm more back. Nice. Oh, right. Hi. Oh my God, that shampoo I used was so good. Feels off my hairs. Feels off my hairs. Feels off my hairs. Yours is really soft. You should use the shampoo I use. I use new shampoo today. It was so soft. It's called Joy Pro. I just used it. And my hair is literally so soft. Anyways. Oh, wow. Hi, guys. Shalom. How about him? We're all trying to find you. Jewelry we got for... Well, we got lots of jewelry for our wedding gifts. We have actually... We're going to do a whole live opening wedding quest. We have so many wedding gifts downstairs. How is everybody? Someone said, where did you get your blowout, Moses? <laughs> Angel. It looks so good. Like, you literally should get it all the time. You look literally so good. Special occasions. <laughs> well, it does look handsome. Everyone loves Moses' hair. Like, in real life, too. Everyone's like, wow. Okay, sorry. I'm like messing with me. All right, I'm going to stop. All right, congratulations. Thank you, everyone. We are married. Are you excited? Yes. Aww. So it was the best, 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 best day of my entire life. It was beyond everything I could imagine. It was actually it was like, beyond the expectation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like as far as like the feeling and the vibes and the energy, like it, like it literally was like all the stuff I thought was important. Like for me, I like I really wanted like all this crazy entertainment. I wanted Donny Osmond and I wanted like these crazy performers to come. And it's like, and even though we got Elvis, which was a really big thing of mine, I was just like, I didn't even like, I didn't even get to like really enjoy Elvis because I was just enjoying everyone else. So like that kind of stuff wasn't as important as I thought. But anyways, we'll get into all that. But someone says, congrats, congratulations. Thank you, Gray. Thank you guys so much. Honestly, all the... All the love has been really great, actually. So, oh, we have a member, Eden. Congratulations, mom and dad. So happy for guys. Trish, you looked amazing. Can you do more? Let me see what says. Can you do more live source members? Yes, I am going to go back to members only lives. This is kind of part of like Vlogmas right now. I'm doing like live. It's been really fun. Although I really like going live for everybody, but I will do different perks for members. But anyways, we're married. Sorry, I'm talking so much. <laughs> We're married and it's crazy. So ask questions. Thank you guys for all the congratulations and in the well, which is Moses. Moses' aura is different. Well, I'm a married man now. You are a married man. <gasps> yeah, these are our rings. You got to see this. I mean, this thing was designed to fit perfectly. I mm -hmm. can see that. These are a band and the way it fits in there. How amazing is that? For everyone who says that I don't have an original, that we don't have an original idea, because this was inspired. Obviously, my engagement ring was inspired, but this was completely original because I we didn't see, we haven't seen anyone with a marquee cut. Like we don't really, unless you guys see, we haven't seen anyone with a marquee cut with the um with the double ring. Oh, wait, real quick, super. Oh, Kayla, congratulations! I love you so much. It's such a magical moment. I'm happy for you both. How do you both feel right now? Thank you for the super chat. There's definitely a high. That's what I was saying when I was like cooking. Like I actually like left this morning. Moses left and that for a minute, and I was like, I need to go. Congratulations! Thank you for the super. Chat. I'm like, I need to go. Oh, that's cool. Oh, everyone's saying congratulations to you too. I was like, I need to go be with my mom and sister. Like I just wanted to be around because I feel so happy, and I just and we relived it there. But um, oh, this week we're gonna do a bunny Hana with them and watch the wedding footage because I wanted to show them coming down the aisle because we probably can't post aisle stuff because like um, people that come down the aisle with this bride, which is fine. Like obviously, like I was supposed to be no, coming down the possibly. aisle, but. Um, you two look so perfect together. Thank you, Maverick, for the super chat. Um, yeah, it feels I was saying that when I was making big ziti too. I was like looking for food and I was just like, I just feel so happy. It's like it's like a real thing, like marital bliss. But anyways, Moses did design this wedding band back to that. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, <laughs> but we never seen a marquee engagement ring with a wedding band, have we? Did we look it up? Because I'm well, definitely not one. We like never that. seen one. It was hard to make too. This was really hard to make. They had to make it in different pieces and put them together. They couldn't just mold, do one mold. It's hard. It's like literally so two pieces. That, yeah. Where's your? Oh, yeah. Where's it though? <laughs> so you can see here. So we basically took the original ring she has and we redid this whole part to look exactly the same because I wanted it when it's next to it to feel like it's one ring, and then to find. But the thing like is, when you see it from the side, I mean, this is like a. This diamond is like a boat, <laughs> you know, there's like a whole structure to hold this big diamond. And then the ring has to fit exactly, but also underneath. It's so crazy. it's a lot, a lot of design and engineering. And it's this, a perfect fit. And this is like the first 
prototype. I mean, it almost feels when you put it in, it feels like a magnet. It almost feels like fun. It just yeah, suits. it looks like it too. Like you really have to separate it to like see it, mm -hmm. but like it makes it look so much bigger. Like not that it needs to be bigger, but and then for anniversary, I guess you're supposed to get it for your five year anniversary. But I mean, one year anniversary, I want to hear. But honestly, I feel like I should just get, get it sooner. I feel like I should just get it for like. Yeah, I just want to see it complete. Same, because like, I'm like, I don't want to wait. Wanna see the other year. side complete to see the full set. So hopefully we can get that made ASAP. And then mine is exactly the same, just straight without the angle. So Everyone actually really loves it. My mom, everybody like loves this ring. Yeah. And it I don't know why it took so long to explain to them what I want. Like it kept coming in different versions and then eventually it was like we took them together. Oops. This is how we cut the cake. <laughs> Where are you going? I was cutting the cake. <laughs> oh, the cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like they're like show the rings and they're like wait how do we <laughs> hold the knife and cut the cake and show the ring <laughs> it was like, so wait, funny okay. oh we had another super chat words can't describe how happy i am for you guys truly i believe you are each other's soulmates and deserve all the love and the light the world has to offer thank you i think we're soulmates oh, too so we're talking about the gift so this thing oh yeah no, fix this this thing i don't know if it's mirrored or not but I think basically i guess you'll see yeah. it this way it says ohm but actually what it is it's her sign and my sign taurus scorpio sign but it says ohm which is like the ohm hum sun like mantra yeah. ohm sum and it's like the exact opposites of the spectrum <laughs> in astrology. Which is so crazy because we're in that lunar cycle right now of Scorpio Taurus literally for the next year, which is like so insane. It went like a month before our wedding. So, <laughs> and this says Trish Moshe in Hebrew, but it shares. So it's like so Trish her name, and Moshe. Her name in Hebrew is like, so That's it's Trisha. If you put... M in the middle, you get Moshe, like my name in Hebrew. So, so it's like, like the S and the H are shared is basically, mm -hmm. but that's like that in Hebrew too. So like this is, is this the S and H part right here? So three. Oh. And then Moshe, three shall. Oh, Moshe. Right, I'm looking at it backwards. So the M, my M is in her heart. I yeah. love it so much. And then we got both. We got the, what's hand small, hand small? Hamsa. Hamsa. It's like the hand of God. We got two. We got a gold and a silver of that, which I were obsessed with. Um, hi. So that's from so from my family because it's they traveled from Israel. So it's her, I didn't want them to carry heavy things or anything. And I said, let's just do something more personal. And here. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> do something more personal. So we came up with some ideas like these. So they're like. Oh, it was amazing. And then we got. Um, Wait, there was another one, right? There was. So we got so from my from my sister in Israel, my brother in Israel, and from my mom is the hand of God. And the coasters, we got so the we coasters, got right? With our signs, which are cool. And then we got was there like a, something in Hebrew, like a card in Hebrew? It was really, really cool. It was really, really mm -hmm. special. And yeah, congratulations! Thank you so much for the super chat. Wish you both a very happy married life. Much love from Scotland. Thank you. Yes. People asking in Hebrew when we're coming to Israel. I don't know, somewhere between March and May. Yes, we are very excited about that. Cannot wait to come. Because um, we want to do a long trip. We want to stay there for a while. Mm -hmm. So not make it like short. Yeah, we're really excited about that because, yeah. Is there a honeymoon? Yes. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to postpone it. I don't know. Do you guys know the rules on like hotel changes? Like it literally will like land. I got my pee today. And so I was just like, oh my God, it's going to be like, it was supposed to be right. Like, I don't know, right on our honeymoon. So I don't know if we can. Oh, we got another super chat. Are you guys going to couples? Oh, you guys going to couples therapy. I was going to say something else. We are, we are not going to couples therapy anymore. We are, we haven't since we got engaged, literally have not fought at all. Like literally don't ever fight. It's actually crazy. By the way, I have a solution for the. By the way, you haven't said that so long. <laughs> By the way, you just say that every time. I have a solution for the, <laughs> for the honeymoon. We just have to work harder and. Oh! And oh. Get it. So, on that note, do you remember that test I was telling you about, that HSG test where they shoot the fluid? They say you should do it like right after your period. Like the day after you stop your period, because then it cleans, it gets it cleared out for like your next cycle. So like they say like that next cycle, then 
which is like a, it would be two weeks after your period like it was really supposed to do it so like when my period ends which is in five days from now we should go get that test and then have it like cleared out for all right we're going to another destination soon and I want to yeah, obviously work on my period for that. But congrats to you both. Honestly, both deserve happiness just like everyone else. Do better. Thank you for the super chat, Lindsay. Um, but yeah. Because maybe we'll can see it in Hawaii or something. <sighs> but we were planning on that too. For, but it was delayed two days. The problem is it's supposed to hit like the day we leave for the Maldi Maldives. And it's like even if it was a couple days late, it would be like while we were there. And like, again, it's not even about the sex stuff. It's just more like you don't want your period on vacation. Like it's just the worst. Especially when you're like. Want to be in the water the whole thing. Yeah, and they did have told me like that, but I hope you don't act different. Thank you, Macy, for the super chat, I think. Let's see if it's a nice one. I hope you don't act different now that you are married, but I'm so happy for you guys as well. What does that mean, act different? I mean, I don't know how we'd act different, but... Oh, Maddie, love that the wedding date is... Oh, my God, there's so many super chats. Thank you, guys. Hold on, let me slow this down. Love the wedding date, 12, 11, 21. Such a lucky number. Any time we have for you guys. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we originally wanted to get married December 18th because that's when we got engaged. And 18 is like a great number in like, you know, what was it Hebrew? Like, it's really, really like, lucky. Mm -hmm. So we wanted that. But literally the only day at the Four Seasons near us that we wanted... Because we wanted to get married at the Four Seasons. That was like, like a no-brainer. There was literally one date left. And we looked... I mean, we went like in February or January to look at this stuff. There was one day left. We booked it that day because we don't want to lose the date. So we booked this back in January. But it was almost better. We saw the 12, 11, 21. Because at first, you have to understand, the first one you're there, like, you're like, oh, no, I'm not going to get my date. There's like, because we wanted 12, 18, our um, engagement date. And it was hard. And then when they said 12, 11, we didn't get it yet. And suddenly I was thinking about it. I was imagining it in my head. I was like, one, two, one, one. Two, one. I was like, wait a minute, it's a mirror. Like it's a it's an actual mirror. And I was already thinking in the invitation, we should do it as a mirror. Like I was already thinking about the whole thing. I was like, you know what? It's a good date. Let's do it. It only happens once in the whole universe. It'll never happen again. Yeah, because the 12th, as far as the month, yeah, it will take forever for that to happen again. Well, I guess like 3021. But but the it's not only mirrored this way, it's also mirrored this way. So once in a lifetime. Two, even if you flip two, it's still two. So it's just, it's a really special date and we really love it. And we love, we love the numbers and we're also 11 years apart, which Moses will like to deny and say 10 and a half, but I'm 33, <laughs> he's 44, we're 11 years apart. So it's a it's double year and we're also going into 22. So it's like so super we're special. Married, so we made on the one, one, going to two, two with three, three, four, four. <laughs> yeah, it was really, it really is like super special. So I was like, okay, so like maybe our baby will be due 11, 11. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. And what? It's 11, 11, 22 then. That's amazing. Oh. oh my God. And then if we got pregnant this month, oh no, did we have to get pregnant for whatever. whatever. We'll take whatever we can get. Um, anyways, yeah, that was a was really special stress. And we, like it really kind of happened by chance, but it was like obviously. Well, it was really given to us in a way. Mm -hmm, we literally. Didn't, we didn't choose the day, it was given to us, and we're like, okay, we at the beginning we thought we were compromising. Right. But then suddenly we realized, yeah, well, that's so pretty. <laughs> so we, we thought we were compromising and then we realized, no, this was a gift. So that's kind of nice mm -hmm. when life gives you those gifts. You don't realize it yet at the moment. But side note, honestly, I would suggest getting married on a Thursday, not a Saturday, because they say you actually save like literally it's half the cost if you get married on a Thursday. Did you know that? We should probably just got married on a Thursday. But I wanted to be bougie and get married on a Saturday. But you get half the cost if you get married like, during the week. I don't know. But I mean, I don't know. Our... It was perfect because it was like, because all of our guests arrived to the hotel on Friday. I mean, that's true. It was a good weekend. We stayed for Saturday in the hotel. Then Sunday we had brunch at the house. So, you know, some people would have not been able to do all that. It was so it was beautiful. Like, it, it was a whole weekend. It was. And it went by so fast. I mean, it literally went by so fast. And yesterday we just went out for our, to our pizza spot. And everyone's like, congratulations there. But it just went by so fast. There's another super chat from Nicole. I've been watching you for the past nine years. And I love to see you happy. Wish you nothing but the best. Thank you, Nicole. Let's see here. Can you say happy 20th birthday? Happy Ella. Happy birthday, Ella. Dana says, wishing you, thank you for a super chat, wishing you endless love and happiness. I have been blessed to watch your love bloom. Cheers to forever. <laughs> and to the happiness. Is that you say it? You say it different. How do you say it? Well, in Israel, I don't even know her last name. you say Chakmon. 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 Your mom said that. She goes, hello, Mrs. Chakmon. I was like, oh, did it move? We don't want to get too seasick. <laughs> oh, okay. Cindy, congratulations. So happy for you guys. Wish you a happy life full of joy. Would you 
get a card reading from Aphrodite. He stands you and always plays your music on a Twitch live stream. Yes, I love Aphrodite and absolutely. So let's address something because I feel like this is like one thing we should like address. Thank you guys all for the super chat so much. Everybody, the one like little drama people want to talk about <laughs> is um, did I keep Moses hostage? Which I kind of love how our narratives always shift. It's always like Trish is this, this, this. And then it's like, oh, get away from Moses. He's ruining her life. And now it's shifting back to like Trish and held him hostage. So, who's the best person this time? Let's play. Should we? I mean, I don't I know. know. I don't even want. So weird. Okay. I mean, so before all of that, we had <laughs> this event was quite a production, and we had I had a security meeting with the hotel and two security companies what, that we hired to go over all the details of how the event is going to go and things and cars and and everything. We thought about every small detail, like where people can get in, sneak in, somebody can go in, open the door, bring in like a million different things that could happen. And one of the things we talked about was also valet parking, which cars are important. So any family member, our cars, they were hidden in the parking lot in the basement. So we didn't want people to drive by the Four Seasons and be like, is this where she's getting married? They'll see her car. Because usually they park the Rolls Royce right at the front. Because mm -hmm. that's how places do it. They just like to have them right there at the front. Which is great because so, then you have it easy. We were like, we don't want the car in the front. Whatever you do, you have to park it in the garage and hide it. And then I didn't stay at the hotel the night before. She stayed there. Mm -hmm. And I ended up taking the car home. So I stayed home. I didn't see her until the actual wedding. But what happened was, this was 4 o'clock. I needed to be downstairs. I have another meeting with all the security as they arrive. And then at 4.30, start hosting for the guests arriving at 5. At 3... Almost three thirty. I'm putting on my shirt, and it doesn't fit. <laughs> like the photographers are there, the photographer, photographer. This is the first thing I'm putting because I have to put my shirt to order to put the pants and all that. I'm putting the shirt, and I can't even close it. They gave me the wrong shirt, and everyone started freaking out. I was like, "Okay, let me think about it. I know where there's a store. I'm gonna run down. I have. It's gonna take me twelve minutes to get there. Ten minutes to buy this shirt. Twelve minutes to get back. I'll be back by four. I run downstairs, I get to the valet parking. And so the hotel gave them instructions about our cars, but they didn't really understand the whole meaning of everything. You know what I mean? Like, because when I came to the hotel, I parked the car, I was like, nobody to touch it. It's not moving, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> it has to stay in the basement. <laughs> We're leaving tomorrow. Nobody's going to use this car until tomorrow. So I get down there, there's a valet parking that I haven't seen before. And it was odd. That's what I was trying to tell you in the story. He was so odd. Like, I was trying to understand what he was telling me, what he was trying to say. He was just odd. I think and that's was, where the people got confused. Right. And I got confused because I listened back to what you, know, you said. And you were I like, I was confused, confused about it. But too. you said they, they, they restricted in charge. She said not to give you that car. Right, Who's she? Think, me? No, but I think that's the thing. He got the instructions from the hotel referring to your car. So he's thinking, your car, your instructions, the car should, you know what I mean? Like he didn't understand because I never talked to them. I talked to the head of security. So you think the hotel, hotel told the valet guy? Oh, for sure. No, they had to. because That I didn't want you to leave. No, no. They said the car has to stay in the basement to not bring the car up oh, in the day of the event. Okay. We don't want to see the Rolls Royce in front the day of the event. So something about that. So when I came there, I was like, I need the car. And he was weird about it. He was like, oh, but I thought we're not supposed to let you use the car or something. Like the way he said it was so <laughs> odd. And I felt I was just like, this is odd. Like I felt like in a movie, like in a weird, like, like they're keeping you, you there. Know, it's like okay. one of those dreams where you have to do something and there's no time and everything is in your way. <laughs> oh. So then I was like, okay, maybe he doesn't understand what I'm trying to say. So <laughs> um, I called her brother too, because he had the same shirts, her dad, my brother, we all had the same shirts from the same place. Suddenly I realized if my shirt is wrong, they might be too. Sure enough, your brother's shirt was not, didn't fit either. So I call him, I'm on the phone with him. Hey, try your shirt. It doesn't fit. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get you a shirt too. What size? He texts me the size. So then the the bell, the valet parking guy heard that whole conversation. He understood, like, I'm in a rush. I need to go get a yeah. shirt. So then he actually jumped in a golf cart, got me in the golf cart. We just rushed to the basement. I jumped into the car. He ran back up to oh open the gate. Oh, my God. And I flew out. 
this is like after three o'clock i need to be ready at four oh <laughs> so now i'm driving away from the hotel and i was like oh my god this is the beginning of something that could go so wrong <laughs> oh my god i know why did you actually now so, mindset you shouldn't have at the hotel because like what if no but i had happened? to try the shirt on what if they bring in another wrong shirt they're not the same size or whatever mm. so anyway so i'm driving i get on the 101 there's a traffic like standstill oh of my cars god. oh and I, yeah and, and luckily Sad. I managed to get to an exit right before it stopped. So I got down on the exit, took the streets, ran into the store, got my shirt, got your brother's shirt. Your dad and my brother were okay. Jumped back into the car, flew to the hotel. Oh my God. <laughs> it was insane. And then I even had five minutes to steam my shirt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you steamed it yourself? With that guy that they gave me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was that a butler for the day of our wedding? <laughs> It was really nice. I like him. He's been our butler here. He's. It feels like you know my my dad passed away. So it was kind of nice. Aww. It was like it was this guy. It was like an older English man. <laughs> that rented you your dad. Helping with the bow tie and yeah. everything. But it was funny. It was funny. He was like helping with the shoes with the whole. It was funny. It was nice. And then with my brother too. He helped my brother with the bow tie. And I could Aww. see that my brother was just sitting there and letting him do the bow tie. Well, that's good. So he was helpful then. For sure. No. Yeah. Okay. No. It was. It was nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. that was so cool. Yeah. Then we found out that he used to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Moses Butler, who was here. And she call, they call him a butler. I don't know. We wouldn't call him a butler. In but a it's... nice way, like an English way. Yeah, like, yeah. Like a professional. That's so I don't know if good. that's, I don't even know. But that's what they keep saying. They're like, this is your butler. But I don't know. Like, he's he's just like a helper. I guess I don't know. But he's, um yeah, he worked at the Playboy Mansion. And one of the girls that I know, she was one of his girlfriends at one point. Not one of the girls in the store, but she was like one of his girlfriends. And she's like, did you know? Because she knows I like love Playboy. Like, I always ask her about it. And she's like, did you know that he like was the butler at the Playboy Mansion because she like lived there and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I got really excited by that. I was like, oh, maybe we need to have him like full time. Like, <laughs> I like him. I always liked him. Even at your at Halloween party, yeah, he was, was always really, they're all very helpful. Evan was very helpful that day. Even the, the, the female photographer was very like, do you need me to go get somebody? Like she was a very, everyone was very they helpful. Nice. The day of the wedding, people are very helpful. Like a lot of things like went wrong, I guess, so to speak, the things that we like obviously didn't want, but it was all good. And also like people were like really, really helpful the day of like, actually it was like going to do a video, like what went wrong, but it's like, it, honestly, like it all went perfect. The only thing I would say is like, we definitely need to just go through the budget and be like, because I was like thinking about today, I was like, where did all that money go? Because like, you know, you gotta, but whatever, it doesn't matter. And so it was perfect. It should have, it just, like, yeah. anyways, um, we have a lot of super chats to answer. Let's go back up because oh. we missed a few. We're going back up to the super chat. Sorry, chat. Um, okay. <laughs> there was some other. Oh, this was Penny Arcade member. I'm at the doc, so I can't listen right now. I just want to say congratulations to both of you. You look absolutely stunning. So we miss an amazing, attentive, and loving person. Thank you, Penny Arcade. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Nicole says, what was your favorite wedding memory? Thank you for the super chat. Definitely our, our vows. That was the top, yeah. That was that, that was, was my favorite. Everyone was definitely most Moment. impressed because Moses, his vows were so good. And he's like, he's such a, you're not a like words of affirmation person usually. And that was just so good. That one was like, wow. I was so blown away. I didn't know you were going first. I was prepared to go first. I was like, shoot. I got flustered. I got yeah. real. Well, I was flustered from the beginning. I remember just looking at Moses and it felt long. Like the ceremony to me felt like 30 minutes and it was only like eight minutes, the whole thing. But like, yeah. But it felt long. I was like looking and I just felt, I almost felt like, I don't know. I just felt like, I don't know. Well, because we were on, you know, center stage. Yeah, and so everyone's just like staring. You're just can like, imagine how long I felt. I was standing there from the beginning. Like I'm Aww. standing there. Everyone's going in. Everyone's going in. I love the aisle marches. We got to watch those. Again. Oh, anyways, did I tell you? I was like, we'll go watch them with my mom and sister because I wanted to see them. I was going to do a tape, but I like waited for you guys. So I'll go back with you. But um, I go to Bunny Hunter too. <laughs> did I mention that already? Sorry. I really wanted to go to Bunny Hunter today. I was like, dang. And ever, hey, nobody was around to go with me. me. I nobody was around. I was not by myself, but I'm like, that's kind of sad. I would have met you there. I wasn't far from it. Tomorrow. Anyways, that was that was a highlight, but my highlight, that was a highlight, but my my other highlight was Moses recorded a song for me <laughs> and freaking sang it at our wedding to me like oh, I was so confused. Like the groom has a surprise. I went to the dance floor. I was like, what is the surprise? And I heard the beginning of the song and I really thought, cause like we talked about having Donny Osmond at our wedding. 
And I love Danny Osmond. And I was like, and I remember when we like got the call that he might be able to come. We were like, oh my God. I was like crying. I was like, if he comes, I'm just gonna, and like whatever. He didn't, it couldn't come because he's doing a show in England. But um it started playing Puppy Love, and I was like, oh my God, he's here. Like Danny Osmond's here. And then all of a sudden I hear like Moses' voice on the recording and starting to sing, and I was like, what the heck? And then I see my music producer and my sound engineer like front and center for this, and they're like smiling and like the thing, and I'm like, I was, it took me a minute to realize, I was like, I was, I was confused halfway there. And I was like, oh my God, he, he recorded <laughs> Puppy Love for me. And it was like, it was so, it was like, that was like the highlight of my whole life. No one's ever recorded a song for me. No one's ever sang to me. No one's ever done that. Especially like surprised me. I was like, oh my God, that was my highlight. That was hard. Cause I never sing. That was the, and then, I mean, it's really hard to surprise me. Like engagement, I knew it was coming somehow. I mean, you didn't surprise, surprise me with that, but that was the biggest surprise. I was like, I can't. And I didn't know when to do it. I'm like, we have Elvis singing. I don't want to sing after Elvis. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was tough. And then recording the whole thing, that was just crazy. How long did it take you? I don't know. I mean, we were there for, I don't know, a couple of hours. Oh my God, really? Well, I've been practicing every time I drive by myself. I would listen to the song and practice in the car. I'm just like, this sounds horrible. Oh my God. It's gonna no, be you sound good. Everyone said and it too. Then, and then recording it, you know, you come and you, it's always that, you know, you sing in the shower, but then you go on American Idol and you're like, <laughs> horrible. <laughs> yes. You know, that, that gap me. between what you think you sound like to what it actually sounds like. <laughs> and then. But you sounded um, good. And you did yeah. a whole song. Like, it's hard to record a whole song. Like, it is so hard to record, even if you know it perfectly. Because yeah. they tell you if you're off, you have to like really just get it right. And it's like so hard sometimes. And I was like, not to remember me before. I don't know. I was, so coming to the wedding like nothing i wasn't nervous about anything the only thing i was like feeling something about was the song really because i was like nothing like you know i have no problem going through events and people and all that stuff but like singing <laughs> and maybe singing very badly in front of everyone i was like why ruin the whole thing <laughs> you know? oh it made it it made it i was so, just like i was so shocked i was like oh my god it was the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. I was like, wow. But then as the night was going by, I started to feel it. And then I was like, okay, like, <laughs> you know, because we had certain, we had our song coming in. You're the song with your dad. We had the dances. We had Elvis. There was a lot, yeah. All the dancing. And then I felt like maybe I'll just let the night kind of like slow down a little bit. And right when you feel like nothing more is coming, then it was surprises. it was good because it was it was very like random. I was like, wait, what is happening? It was it was really. Because at good. first I thought I want to just get over with it. I'll do it right at the beginning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. we're walking in with microphones. I thought maybe that's the moment. I'll just oh, do it right yeah. there and then before Elvis, before anyone else. <laughs> oh, so if I sound God. bad, there's no point of comparison. <laughs> like, that but, would have been good. That would have been good too. But then I realized no. I should, savor it and then find the right moment so the was DJ done. was just ready he was like whenever you look at me i'm gonna just play the song you sent it to him did you have his email of course no yeah because okay. was... i sent the dj all the music so that's why i was like oh my god like you Pretty and then everyone knew about it that was so good and the ending was i love you moses because he had asked us on the phone oh. to like pick the last song and you know and then, we, well, then the we just... he came to me it's like it's like okay last song do you have any requests Aww. and i was just thinking like hmm what sound is like i love you what was it like do you have it it's like oh yeah it's on spotify <laughs> Aww. and then we Sorry, danced yeah. and everyone just was around us like again it was a titanic. i kept seeing titanic as my reference but it was a titanic moment we're just like in the middle and everyone's like cheering us on and then we somehow like just remembered choreography i forgot that i remember <laughs> i did too i was like oh wait we have a choreography <laughs> from the music video so then we just danced the whole choreography. it made sense we did it so many times and then you got on your knee and i was like spinning around you it was really funny so definitely the vows were like really special, but then obviously that to me was like extra special. So, okay. We'll have to ask guests if they had cake. My mom and sister said that they didn't get any cake. Who? My mom, what do you mean who? My mom and sister. <laughs> oh no, I thought you said, they, they said guests didn't have, so. But I, they but they said, they, all they saw was the yellow cake that we cut, or was like that white cake. Oh, you mean they that's said, a different. They said there was no, they said. I, my mom knows. She watched. She said they rolled the cake back right away. And like right after we cut it, they rolled the cake out. And she said she didn't see anyone eating chocolate. I had one. There was chocolate. Okay. 
talk about the shit I didn't see. Again. I was very concerned about the cake. I feel like for Christmas Eve or Christmas or whenever we go to the Four Seasons again, we should request a cake. We should get a wedding cake made for us again. For you know, my mom and sister didn't get any cake either, and we only had like those two pieces. I don't know how they. I think they kind of walked around and kind of gave it to people. They didn't really go to the tables mm-hmm. or something. I don't know. Like, That's what my sister said too. Like, yeah, it's one of those things where it's not something you're supposed to do or deal with at the event. So right. We just have to have good people that are doing it. Nicole says the fact that you were wore black and walked down the aisle to MCR. I wish I would have done something like that for my wedding. Love you, Trish. Congrats. Thank you. I thought it was pretty unique. I thought like I, I don't think it's like a traditional like a wedding march song, but. I originally was going to do Helena. I was like, I really want to do that. But that kind of has a little bit funeral vibe. Well, out very much funeral vibes. It's about Gerard's, like, grandmother. But I was like, Black Parade, even though it is the Black Parade joining death, the, the whole story is about the guy right before he dies recalling his best memory, which was going to see a marching band with his dad. And I was like, oh, so, like, the whole concept of Black Parade is, like, you, you relive your favorite memory before you died. So, for me – the black parade and the moment before I die, I think I would relive my whole wedding. Like my dad walking me down the aisle to my husband. And I was just like, Oh, and everyone there, it was so everyone in white, like aside from it being aesthetically pleasing, it literally felt like heaven. Like it felt like when you go into heaven, like it's like such a crazy thing to think about because I like walked in and everyone was in white. It's like everyone from like my past that like really loves me and loves us and like everyone, it was just there. And I was like, wow, it was like, so it was so surreal. And I felt so cool. Like, I just saw the people in the immediate aisles and there are people that have been in my life for like a long time and stuff like that. And I was just like, I don't know. I just felt so cool. And I felt, and then I saw Moses there and it was very Titanic, you know, him just like waiting at the clock for her when she's like dies and she gets to be reunited. It just felt very much that in like a really good way. And it felt really, um, uh, surreal. It felt really surreal. And I hadn't seen any of it. I was like napping beforehand because we were waiting so long. We started like an hour late. And so when I woke up, it really felt like a dream or heaven or it just felt really, it was really cool. And the Black Parade, I thought, was a really good choice. So thank you very much. And that ding, ding, ding. And then the people who pulled the curtains back did it at a good time because they did it right when the, the word started. So that sets us up for our next year. We're seeing MCR in – they're actually in, like, the Europe. should wear a wedding dress when we go see the show. Yeah, I want to do a music video in our wedding outfits because I love our wedding dress – both of our wedding outfits so much. Moses had, like, print on his. It was really cool. Hold on. Did this go dark? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm breaking it. Hold on. So thank you for the super chat, Nicole. Um, says little Marie says usually save the top layer of cake for mm-hmm. your first anniversary. We tried. Well, that's a whole story. We'll, <laughs> so we'll tell it another time. <laughs> we did go get some more cake, but right. yeah. I mean, at some point we had it with us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have kids. We are trying. Yes. Um, but yeah, it was really, so that was one of the things that was really amazing about it is like when you, we, we kind of, we designed the wedding, the way it looks, but the best part of the design was asking people to wear white or silver. A lot of people wore silver and it was really pretty. And also we gave them the freedom of like, we wanted them to be creative. I'm like, it's not traditional, like wear something fun, creative, like I had a friend that actually painted on his suit with silver, like, like there was some oh, really? people wore fur and armors and things. One of your friends like, had a whole jacket made of Coke cans, like the little yeah, snap thing. I mean, amazing. This was really like going into some kind of a fashion art show. But what I'm trying to say is like the most beautiful part of the decorations for the event was actually turned out to be the guests themselves. They were the most beautiful thing in the room. Like, Every time we looked around, it was just visually so pretty. You saw the stage so was white. Everyone was dancing in white and silver. And at some point, they do, like, coordinated dances and stuff. Yeah. That was, just, and then you see him so there. Pretty. Everyone just doing Macarena. And so I, like, literally jumped in because I was, like, talking to someone. I'm like, I want to jump in this. I need to be in this video and this photo because it looks so pretty and it looks so good. And like, But I do think, like, I'm going to give a little bit of bias. I do think, like our guests pulled it off the best just because like they're super creative. Like Moses has a ton of artsy friends that are like dancers, painters, sculptors, all this fashion. They're all very artsy. And of course my friends are always, they're all in the creative world too. So I think if like 
like you said, if it was an accountant's wedding, no offense to accountant, I love my accountant. She was there, like everything. Our both was your accountant there? Both yes. of our accounts were there. But no offense to accountants, but like I feel like it's like an accountant's wedding. You're like just you know more like traditional standard people. Like you know you come to the office jobs or whatever. Like it would have. I don't think. I mean, it's think it would have been pretty, but I I feel like ours pulled it off because they were so interesting. I mean, people were. Someone at one point was like looked like Game of Thrones. I looked around. People yeah. were in for jackets and armor it and looked, braids, and it looked really it cool. Looked like Game of Thrones and Star Wars got meshed together into a wedding. Yeah, because people had yeah, uh, yeah. So it, it was just like the guests were the best part of the wedding. Yeah, yeah, it really was. Gabby says, "Congrats! What was different about this relationship versus past relationship that made you know it was right?" I mean, <laughs> you liked me, so <laughs> I was like, "This is good. This, good. this is a good idea." This was someone liking me too, liking me back. That was it, and uh, no, it's not like that. You- it's an evolution. Like it's not a comparable thing. It's more of an evolution. Yeah. You just feel it. You just feel it. And like honestly, like, yeah, I don't know. I guess you don't know until you know. You're just like, oh yeah, this is it. But you liked me. I said that at the end of my vows too. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe someone wants to marry me. <laughs> I was like really excited. Like the fact that was really cool. I was I was just really, really nervous. Oh my god. I we were watching it back this morning. I was like, oh my god, my little giggle. I had to like put on mute. I was like, what? I was really nervous, was surprisingly. Cute. I don't know. I didn't think it I was would be. You were, you were so calm. You were, you were so genuinely. Calm. I was so nervous. I was just nervous. I was just like, oh, my God, this is like all of it. But I think the minister, the officiant, went to go file with the Clark County office today. I sent him. Oh, cell. cool. He was yeah. great. Yeah, he was really good. He was very calm. He was very collected. It was quick. It was It was great. I loved it. Okay. Oh, Daniel! The food was so good. You guys look so beautiful. Thank you, Daniel. Daniel Perez was there. What, Daniel, was the food cold and did you get cake? My mom and sister also said the food was cold when it came out, like the soup. They said it wasn't warm and that their food wasn't, I don't know, they were, I mean, they, they loved the wedding too. It wasn't like that, but I was like, oh, that was, that's sad. Ours was, was definitely cold because we had it upstairs. Oh, it was nice to meet Daniel. Like I was, so I was standing there, I was greeting all the guests coming in and stuff like that. So I'm standing there and I'm seeing somebody and I'm like, I know this person, but I never met him before. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, wait, because I have a thing with faces. I'll never forget a face. I was like, wait a minute, I know this face. I know this face. And suddenly it clicked. I was like, oh, that's Daniel. And then <laughs> and then I walked and talked to him and uh, his friends. Did you know? Did you recognize him right first or did he introduce himself to you? No, I walked to him. I recognized him. Really? That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, we had um, Daniel Perez and his boyfriend. I was very excited to meet. And then so, Brian and Catherine. Who, mm-hmm. They're all in. They're all in the East Coast. I told them. I said when I come to New York, they, they're like uh, they were. They started off as fans. Daniel, I met first, and he came to all. He came. I just met him throughout New York. And then Catherine and Brian came to all my shows, and were always like VIP. And I was like, so next time I go on tour, one obviously you guys just get VIP all the time, no matter what any show you want. Because they came to my last show in LA, I was like, come VIP, obviously. But then also when we come to New York, I told them I'm like, we got to go to Benny Hanna. I think I said it on Daniel's vlog. I'm like, we'll go to Benny Hanna, and then we'll go see a Broadway show. And they're all in New York, and they're like, I think Daniel, I think it was Catherine who's like, I've never been to Benny Hanna or Broadway. I'm like. Oh my gosh! And you are in Jersey. Like, what the heck? Was Brad Pitt supportive of the wedding? He gave us our blessing. <laughs> someone, I don't have my phone, but someone in my tagged photos like showed the my two. wedding two years ago to now. And Moses, like, somewhat kind of like resembles him. It's so much hotter, but like, someone had that same. You have the same. It was funny. Something, something looked somehow our hair length was almost the same, and the beard, beard, but the shoulders, the suit, everything. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I got someone else I'm said Keanu. You are the Israeli Brad Pitt. <laughs> You're better than Brad Pitt and Keanu Reeves combined. I, and I like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> but you have the same vibe as Keanu because you're very kind and you have that spiritualness to you. Like he seems very um, elevated in his consciousness. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's all I imagine him saying. Like, dude. Do a California impression. <laughs> no, no, no. You can do it like Bill and Ted. Did no, you ever no. see it? I need to concentrate. <laughs> On your I've, done, I've done enough singing and than saying this week. <laughs> well, now you got to do a live performance for everybody. Just go watch the wedding. <laughs> Someone says, that's who Moses resembles. See, they think he'll like, look like Keanu, similar to Keanu. Yeah, you have that vibe. There's like a vibe about you, which is crazy. No cake. The food was hot. It was great. It was good. So Daniel didn't get cake either. So it must be one of those Man. things where like you had to like get it. But but they did say, but my sister said she saw Jeremy and Brandon have a piece. So because I saw them walking around with it, not serving at the table. Like they should have just put a slice on each plate. You know what I mean? Like go around the table, put a slice just on put each it plate. Put it down, yeah. Whether you're there or not. 
Like that's one thing that you, know, you said your chocolate. Yeah, mine was like the mousse because that's what I chose. Where did you have it? When they walked around, some like a waiter gave me. A... <laughs> I yeah. didn't get that either. No one's. Get... I only had it when we put each other's mouth, and at the end of the night when we did our mukbang, I didn't get a piece of cake. You shouldn't have walked away from me. I know. Why well, I was gonna say when were we apart? I thought like we were always together. People would constantly pull us. You know. Somebody start talking to you and start talking to me. But we kind of had to because there were so many people. Because we started off going around together, but we kind of had to. But for those who say, oh, they change once they get married. The next day at brunch, and I was being the hostess and talking to everybody, and I was skipping food or whatever. And Moses came and brought me my plate of just scrambled eggs and a ton of bacon. (laughs) He brought me like 10 pieces of bacon, which by the way, everyone's like, oh my God, she had bacon on her wedding day and she had bacon. Yes, obviously I had meat. It's not something that I'm like really like interested in getting back into my diet full time, but like I did have meat on my wedding we, day. But also we were starved. Like, yeah. It was about nourishment. Like whatever was in front of us, we just ate it because yeah. we didn't, the whole day wedding day, we didn't eat. And at the wedding itself, we rather talk to people than sit down and eat. Mm-hmm. So any given moment we're talking to people. Well, we tried to go back down to eat, and then there was no food there because we did. At one point, when I changed, I'm like, let's go sit and eat because I thought our food would be there. I was like, I know. Whose fault was that? <laughs> that was really sad. It's... Somehow I ended up in the kitchen at one point because I was looking for you. You cut through the kitchen some one time to do something, and I if came I back did with that, you. I was looking for the photographer to give him the hard drive. Maybe that was it. And I went to go follow you. And I'm just like stuck in the kitchen because I'm like, where did he go? Because <laughs> I thought it was like you were going around something. And then I was stuck there. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm in the kitchen. And they're like, it's fine. You're family. And I was like, I'm just like standing in the middle of the kitchen because I was looking for you with my security guard. My security guard followed me in there too. We were looking yeah. for you. He's actually really nice. He gave me he gave me the same energy as our other security guards from Disneyland. No, it's the same. It's a good friend of mine. I nice. love that company. My sister and my mom said that too. They said that they were really on it. And they worked on everyone's name. Um, oh, it was funny because even because when we just first walked in, we we're about to walk into our like entrance, you know, and one of the guests was in the hallway. So he just kind of ran to us to say hi. Oh, so yeah. he was like running towards us to say <laughs> hi. The security guard just jumped at him and was like, uh, like cargo, yeah <laughs> which was i mean good testament of like if something really happened yeah 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 but it was so that funny. guy's like okay security but like it was <laughs> kind of weird because we were about no, to start it was unexpected ago. it was it caught us by surprise because everyone are inside and we walk into the entrance we didn't you don't expect to see anything. <laughs> it was he was interesting they were it so was good so crazy man that's pretty good oh, yeah he was really good what the israelis ex-military people yeah they were they were bomb um the caterer screwed up. They should have set aside plates of the vegan food for you. Well, it wasn't even that. I would have eaten the beef and fish. It just, there was no food, period. But it was okay. There's some, yeah, it's not. There was a good gnocchi we had that was vegan, but we did not get that either. Um, What was on the menu? We had, uh, well, there was it was beef and fish. And then the, the vegan option was a gnocchi. And then there was a bunch of. Well, bunch the first of, thing was like this. Was that the squash soup? Mm-hmm. It was like the squash soup. There was a lot of vegan options. There's like a pumpkin thing too, right? Or no, uh, that the yellow. Gnocchi mm-hmm. was in a pumpkin sauce. Yeah. There were lots of beautiful appetizers. Um, well, maybe in a different video, we'll we have the menu printed, so we can kind of go through it. Did we get? We never got a, a card. I like, kept the card. Not from the tasting, but from the wedding. From the wedding, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um. Brooke, thank you for the super chat. Uh, yes, both of our mothers were there. Um, so yes, we had people flying in from everywhere. So thank you, Daniel. Like those guys, they all like people flew from New York just for mm-hmm. that. A good friend of mine, Jennifer, flew from New York just for it. My mom, my sister flew from Israel for the event. My brother flew from New York. My relatives from Cleveland. Cleveland flew in. Your brother flew in. Yeah. Yeah. With four kids. And everything. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you're a 92 year old. Oh yeah, my grandma. She came from. She's. She's. I know everyone's gonna be like, you said you didn't have grandma. Like I know it's gonna be. She's my um stepmom. Stepmom, but she's been in our life since we were little, and she's 92 years old, and she came so from nice. Arizona. She is so nice and so wonderful, and um she came. So, so many people traveled just for that. It was really moving. And then some of my friends from Israel flew in just for the wedding, which is insane. I mean, to fly from yeah. Israel, it's hard it's really hard no your your friends um, and family too show up so hard i was like wow so we had the run like 160 was people. that the final count was it probably because all the chairs were full so that's the amount of chairs we had 
because mm. it's fluctuated yeah, like you know it goes up a little bit it's up, the top we had was like 170 and then you always get five to ten percent of people that can show up and then actually it's stabilized usually more people don't show up or don't arrest yeah you. there was only Pretty two much people everyone who sent the invitations accepted them and showed up yeah it got to be like a lot more than we thought because we sent out like I think like 180 thinking like 150 I think we said showed up and then like literally all of them like showed up we're like ah there's like a lot which is good um when is the second wedding it's soon but we're not gonna say it yet the second wedding which actually we really excited to do the second wedding again so I can do all these wedding TikToks all over again because it was so fun the wedding was so fun honestly I highly recommend doing two weddings because the wedding was so fun I really want to do it again because I was like oh it was like so much fun I feel like the next one's gonna be way more relaxed but this was really it was really fun I'm so glad we did I really don't have any regrets about it I would have like um, what is the word? Like suggestions or like tips to is it getting dark? What's happening? No, just, oh, I thought you were legs, like moving. I was my like, legs are long and they need to it's getting gloomy. Um, but I would have like suggestions if you're getting married, like what I would do differently, but I wouldn't have changed yeah, this, it. It's just technical stuff because it's it's a production, so you need to be aware of certain things and which that that would be my first tip. I should have hired my producers because, like, honestly, like my music video sets could have been. It would have been bomb if we would have my music videos. My music video sets are were bomb. Something about the wedding industry, they just kind of do. Again, everyone was really nice and I'm really appreciative. They kind of seem to do like kind of the minimum for the maximum dollar, whereas opposed to like music production, well, especially my people that I use, which is why I love them. They they stretch the dollar as much as they can and give you the maximum, which I've always loved my producers. But maybe it's, I'm just lucky that way. Um, everyone keeps asking about the perfume. I did what? wear everyone's just like perfume. I guess my wedding day perfume if I wore wedding oh. day. Everyone keeps saying that. Unless it's unless it's something did else that I'm you? missing. Oh, did, did you? Yeah, they're asking, did you wear curious? I did wear curious by Britney Spears, but I don't know. You probably didn't smell it. It's that blue bottle. No, yeah, I definitely there was a smell throughout the day that I smelled, and then when I picked up your dress from the hotel, I, I smelled it again. So there was something. I oh. don't know what it was, but yeah, it was a pretty spirit one. I always have it in my purse. It's the one I use every day. It wasn't anything like super special, but that's the only one I like. And I know that you pretty much tolerate. It just I probably sprayed it really early at like four or something, and I didn't get down to you until like six thirty. So it probably wasn't super. Congratulations! Thank you guys. Who was your most special guest? <laughs> That's tough. They were all special. Can, yeah. I mean, it was it was cool that my that the they my. Were all, I mean, we had so many. Um, also, people we didn't see for a long time because of quarantine. Yeah. But there were like so many group of friends. Like, first of all, close family, which was kind of surreal for them to be like in a wedding here in America, and like it's so different from weddings in Israel. Yeah, it's their thing. So that was crazy. The mom and dance song, dance, you know, the mom and son. Yeah. Dance. Those kind of moments. But and that was were... so pretty. Your mom's dress when she was dancing in the lights. I was just like, oh my God. It was, it was so pretty. And I left my phone up the hotel room the entire night. Like I never took it with me once to the wedding because I knew Moses had his phone and I just wasn't going to be on my phone. And I, but I wish, but obviously we got video of it. But it's so, it was so pretty. That was like one of the, like Moses has a young mom. Like she's younger than my mom. She's very young. And, um, she just, I mean, she looked young. And literally the next day we saw some of my friends from like when I was a kid, they knew me since I was a child. And they're like, oh my God, your mom looks like your sister. I mean, she literally could be your sister. Um, but she looked really pretty. Like gorge. She's, that's why I was like, so yeah. I was even more excited to have kids when I saw your family. I was just like, I can't wait to have kids. They're going to be so cute because I feel like I'm pretty cute and pretty you're cute. pretty cute. So, and your family's pretty cute. Um, do you guys want kids? Yes. We've been trying mm. for about a year, but we're going to actually try. I'm going to try and get that HSG test maybe, maybe in five days after my period and try and open up some tubes, see if they're closed. But that is, that is the next goal. I was two days late today and I thought I was going to get it. I was like, let me take a test. And then I got my period. I was like, okay, just kidding. Um, uh, which one of you had the biggest wedding guest clout? Moses has bigger clout than me on his side. What does that mean? <laughs> just like, I take it as like the most known person. Hmm. You probably have the most. No, you definitely I think, do. I think I won that. Though. Yeah. <laughs> no, you do. And I was, I always, I'm always like, oh, it's so. I mean, we don't really care about that stuff, but for me, it's like, it is cool. I'm always like, oh, you work with, Moses works with a ton of high, pro, high profile people, but just like keeps it private for a good reason. So 
Um, Lacey says, congratulations. Thank you, Lacey, for the super chat. I've been watching you for over 10 years, and I'm so proud of how far you've come. You were so beautiful in both dresses. Thank you. Night and day from that black dress. It's so crazy because, like, oh my God. the designer, Galila Hobb, did such a good job. Like, she really specializes in those sparkly dresses. She did such a good job on that dress. And that second one just missed the mark so much. I don't know how that happens in the same designer, but it happens. But the, the main one was really beautiful and my my second one was Ryan and Walter and they did really good job and they're making me one for our second wedding actually both I have a Galila Hob dress the, actually I have to say the Galila Hob dress that I have for the wedding in Maui is probably the best one. Oh, from everything mm -hmm. like yeah. I honestly was gonna change my mind and wear it like wear a white wedding but I, I did love my black I did love it but it just I mean it, it that one I think is even more beautiful but disco disco we're here on TikTok <laughs> <laughs> okay um like, I mean your first dress was amazing. The second dress was amazing. And Ryan and Walter was so cool. And mm -hmm. the fact that they were there and dressing you up and everything. Yeah, they like they got nice. me into it. And Moses ran up to get me fresh underwear because I needed a white one underneath. I was like, just ask somebody and he went to go it's do it. Just married in the back. <laughs> yeah. No. I was like, if you're gonna show your underwear, the better stuff. <laughs> just right. married. Just married. <laughs> Uh, Haley, thank you for the super chat. You look stunning on your big day. Congrats to you both. How hard was it to do the scene chart for all your fam friends? I second with that a lot. Lots of love. And blessings to you. It actually like, wasn't hard. It wasn't. Because we it's... know people in groups. Yeah. It, it was actually easy. It's like there's one of the things that just fall into yeah. place. Yeah. I didn't mind in like 10 minutes. Yeah. And and actually people after that came and said like, our table was great. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sitting us with these people or those people. So yeah. Like, and um, We probably each had a table of like, I would call it hodgepodge, not in a bad way, but just people that kind of didn't know anyone else in our group. So they, but it was, even those tables were good because people were like, I sat next to this person and. Yeah, but we still would put like people that are more artistic together, people that are more like, like I had a friend that is a contractor and a friend that is a developer in Malibu. So I'm like, you should sit together, you know? And then I, and then he had, a, <laughs> so we had some random like people, I'm like, oh, he speaks Hebrew, put him in a Hebrew table. <laughs> <laughs> I had, um, I had the whole table that was friends from my college, uh, other architects and artists. <laughs> And they were just the best. I mean, that whole table. table the Burning 10, Man? Oh, was table that the table 10? 10. Yes, they so were. So we were walking, we were walking to the tables <laughs> just saying hi to everyone. And the minute we stepped to table 10, they just started chanting. They were like. <laughs> like the whole room. They were just, just like, like hyping us up from when we got in. And I was like, and everyone looked at them. And I, even me, I was like, okay, this is like so extra. I loved and it. They were just so happy. They're so happy. they made me so happy they were so happy for you and they were like moses and they were like happier we're happy for you guys and we love moses and um they said they were taught they were the burning man group too they also went to burning man with moses and they were like oh my god this guy like it just it was they were really good i mean everyone was good energy but they were really fun i was like yeah like, you need those fun. group of friends and especially something like this because they would be like they're on the dance floor they're like table 10 needs you on the dance floor you know they're just like <laughs> yeah yeah like, yeah to dance or get it like just a lot of stuff. Then you have a lot of like dancer friends too. This one guy yeah. was like dancing with like everybody. It was actually like really. I used to work with a dance fun. company, and so there were a lot of dancers there, and it's amazing. You should have dancer friends if you have <laughs> definitely, a wedding, <laughs> definitely. Because you need a few of them there on the dance floor to kind of like just swing things up. And your your friend started the dance for sure. Even before we got out there, his friends were out on the dance floor. I was like, that's, that's the way to be. It's a wedding, you know? Because it was it was a long time in between, like, us getting married and then us getting in. It was, like, an hour delay. So it was good that they um, they did that. Everyone said they loved your hair. Congratulations. Sorry if you've already been asked, but what was the craziest or best part of your wedding day? Thank you, Heather, for the super chat. Well, we said the best part, so the craziest part. Um, well, for me, the shirt thing, having to drive to get a shirt half an hour before the wedding. Yeah, that, that was, was crazy. I know we both weren't like with each other, so it felt like we both had different stresses. We felt not that was mine was like stressful. Mine was more just like waiting two hours. Like they said to be ready by four, and we didn't start walking until like six thirty. So I literally was just like sitting there in my dress. I know you're all hyped, everyone's energetic for the day, and then all of a sudden you just kind of crash because it's just like at one point I'm sitting in the room alone by myself. I'm like, this is like weird because everyone was getting ready for the wedding, I guess, and I was already ready. So I'm just like sitting there. I'm like, okay, well I'm just here alone in my room. Uh, that that was the worst part was being away from each other because mm -hmm. I was like, oh wait, I gotta see this one. What? I saw shekels. There's a oh really super chub from Israel. What's her name? Yeah, El Frank. I love you so much from Israel. Oh, from Israel. Oh, the shekels. I've got never it. seen that over here. Yeah, That's I haven't cool. either. Sometimes I see different signs, but yeah, there's different colors. So like, I didn't see 
her until she walked down the aisle. Yeah. So the night before I went home, slept here by myself, woke up here by myself. I mean, you left at like one in the morning. No, but, uh, but still, like, spent Asleep. the whole day by myself. And I'm just like, why are we not together right now? This is awful. So I really missed you. But it was, I think it's, I was really sad it was about good. it. But then it, we really missed each other. And so then we were like, I was like, oh, I was like, okay, yay. we should get married. I miss, I miss nah, her. okay, I okay. <laughs> I missed you too. And then he took a picture of him in the bed in the next morning, and he's like, "Well, at least we're in the same bed because we have a Four Seasons mattress." And which everyone loved the mattress. Even the next day, someone's like, "That bed was the best bed ever." I'm like, "You can get the mattresses at Four Seasons. <laughs> it is kind of worth it. I'm not gonna lie. This bed is so cozy." And that's why I was like, "Let's just do the life from the bed." But we might have to move soon because the light might be going down. Yeah. Um, bring some light. I want no. We don't need now. We can also. We'll be back. We'll come on all week and do more chat chats because we have like a lot. We kind of like broke it up because we have like gifts to open and we have like other things we want to talk about. We kind of just wanted to like come on here and like because all the comments were so good and so positive and it really does feel like this pride, this marital bliss that I'm just like, oh, I don't want to come back to the real world. And I feel like we don't have to because it's the holidays, which is another good time to get married because everything kind of is slowing down. So it's kind of like a good time. We can kind of just like relax and chill and eat. They were asking how we pick the date. We talked about it at the beginning, mm-hmm. how we pick the venue. So we saw a few venues and we knew it's going to be winter. So, you know, it's not that harsh of a winter, but it's cold here. It could get very windy and rainy. I mean, it rained before a wedding and it rained today after a wedding. Mm-hmm, super gloomy. Even we were so blessed. This weekend was sunny. Sunny. Yesterday gorge. we had our brunch here outside our house in the sun. It was beautiful. And today just like so cold and gloomy. Mm-hmm. So we were so lucky. But we saw so many venues. So there were like venues in Malibu outdoors, venues. Uh, we went to the Beverly Hills. So like we went to so many yeah. places. And we decided, okay, not outside. We can't take the risk of being outside mm-hmm. because the wind, rain, heat, whatever it is, the elements, you just can't count. You put so much into it, you can't risk it. We don't like to be outside anyways, like even eating and, then, and stuff and outside. And then so many of our guests are traveling. So, so many are traveling in. And it's not easy when you travel from another country, another place, to then start driving around town and getting places. And we thought, what would be better if we all spend the whole weekend in one hotel? Yeah. And then have the wedding in that hotel. And that was the best choice we made. Mm -hmm. Because I'm like, going down from our room to the wedding, and then from the wedding back to the presidential suite. And yeah. (laughs) And everyone's on the same floor. Like, your your family, my family. Everywhere you go, you see your guests and people the whole weekend. Like, we were all like, I would go from her room to my mom and sister room, to my brother's room, to her brother's room. And everything was around. We all helped each other, having like lunch together, breakfast together, doing things. Mm-hmm. So that's stayed in the rooms. Like my brother came into the room. And we love the Four Seasons. We go there anyways. Every always. like once a week, we love it. It's so close to our house. We love it. like it's it's such a cool vibe in there. It's so like that's where we had Thanksgiving. Like we go there for sushi. We like I love the bar. I went with my bar. we need to go. I went with my mom and sister one night, and it was actually like such a fun vibe to at the bar and like order drinks. And so then the second part of it was the food because. The food has to be good at your wedding. That's number one thing. And mm-hmm. the food over there is just incredible. The food tasting we've done, we were just, we we're like done. So okay, old right the, away. The wedding, that's all we need. Mm-hmm. And the other part, when you saw the space, we knew we wanted to transform the space. And the only thing that remains from a space like that is the ceiling. So we love the white ceiling with the chandeliers. Mm-hmm. So we really liked that part. And then we wanted to just transform the space itself into what we wanted it to be. And same thing, we want to have the ceremony near the reception. We didn't want to people go to a ceremony, then go again, That's drive the somewhere, change location. Oh. So they had this huge hall. I mean, it's the most beautiful room. It's huge, and you can divide it. So we have one section for the ceremony, and then you go out, have cocktail hour, and then from there get into the reception. So we yeah. just we just made it easy, and you could feel it because people we didn't drain them in any way you know yeah getting somewhere it's hard to park it's hard to move get back to go somewhere mm-hmm. like it was so easy they were pampered the whole way through yeah even Food like drinks everywhere everything the rooms everything, everything was so was easy the valet parking the- even the decorations inside the hotel not even for our wedding were like winter wonderland theme and we all our guests were like taking pictures in the archways of it like it did and i feel like people probably thought they did decorate for us there because it literally looked like our theme when i went in the day after thanksgiving i was like Oh my god, like this looks like our freaking wedding decor. It was it was so pretty. It was so great. Um like yeah, it was it was pretty insane. It was 
pretty. And that was a big chunk, obviously, of the budget was Four Seasons. It's, it's just like really pricey because it is food and location and service. Obviously, you know, they brought they provided security. We had our own security. We had a team of security that our event planner hired and they had the Four Seasons security. So we had like, I felt very safe. I'll tell you that. Like I felt, and they even like put me through the back ways. I mean, like I went through the kitchens. I went through great elevators. Like I felt very safe. So, um, Dominique, oh, Thank you for the super chat says, I apologize for if this has been asked already, but what color was your bouquet supposed to be super curious? I love your wedding costume. Congrats. Wait, how did you know that was my color? Did I already <laughs> say it? I must've said it somewhere. So, cause Maybe, I said, what was it supposed to be? Probably the night of, cause we were the first video we oh. did. We didn't even, I was we, so were just tired. Like, we were just like raw. We were like after the wedding. Oh, so tired. Yeah. I was almost in shock. It was, it was all shocking. Cause it really Starting was like, flashes, we like, got whisked away. So yeah, like ugh, I hated my flowers. I'm like, oh, I'm, I really didn't like my flowers. It didn't ruin my wedding, of course. Like I don't care. I just threw those flowers right when I got on that. I'm like, here, take this bouquet. I don't like it. But um, yeah, I think that was a miscommunication, obviously, on someone's part. But I really, really wanted red roses and red flowers. I wanted a floral arrangement because, like, we spent like twenty thousand dollars on flowers. So I really wanted red flowers. Everything else was white. I wanted my bouquet to be red. I get down there and they, they hand me the bouquet and it's this white bouquet of flowers. And I'm like, but I'm wearing black. And this white is so ugly with the black. Like it does not go. I hated it. And I was like, I, I, I'm not going to walk down with flowers. Like I'm just not, I wasn't going to be a baby. And I was going to be like, I'm not walking. I'm like, I'm just not going to walk down with flowers. No, no, you need flowers. It's like bad luck to walk without flowers. So they like, I think they postponed part of it because of me. They were telling me they were waiting for people, but I feel like they did. They're like, we'll get something. We're going to go get you red flowers now. They came back with the flowers from the grocery store, like red roses from the grocery store. With the plastic on them. And then the only thing that was different than the plastic, they put like a white ribbon around the bottom, which was even uglier. So you had red roses with a white ribbon and a black dress. And I was like, and thank God Ari and Angel were back there. And I was just like, which ones? I don't know. They're both ugly. And then they're like, no, you got to take the white. And I was like, all right. I, I really didn't want to walk with the bouquet. I just shouldn't have because honestly, why do you need a bouquet of flowers? I did not like that. I was, but again, whatever. I mean, it's just a bouquet of flowers. I didn't ruin like the wedding or anything. But I was at the moment. I was ruining my life. I was like, Cause like there was uh, so many things I asked for that like I didn't get. And I was just like, this is okay. Well, and when you spend a lot of money, the only thing is, is when you spend a lot of money, the only thing that does suck is like, you really do want things to get like somewhat done. And they just, it kind of, you know, like today I you out, I'm like, where did all that other money go? Like the location was a big budget, but then I'm like, where did everything else go? I don't know. Anyways, it was what it was. It was pretty. And we knew it would be, we were always like, it's going to look good no matter what. So, um, do you feel like everything else you went through in life was worth it? Yeah. Yes. I mean, of course. Yes. I mean, that's that's how life works. I feel like that's even relationships. Like, you, know, you should always be thankful for like the bad ones because with each relationship, you learn something that you don't want or something you do want, and then when you find the right one, you're like, "This is it." Because when I was younger, I feel like people like wanted to actually like marry me, and I was just like, mm, "I don't really know what I want." And I feel like there were some good guys that I let go because I was like, mm, "I need someone famous," or mm, "I need someone who's gonna pay for everything for me." I don't know. I just like I don't know. Even you lose like the good ones. I don't know. I feel like I needed to learn a lot and I did. And I have the perfect combination of all of that. Someone who takes care of me, someone who is very bougie, someone who's creative, someone that does is talented. I got all of it in one, but humble and private. And it just, it was all good. I got, I manifested my Moses. Moses was this the best. Oh, <laughs> never mind. That was a troll account. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Are you re-answering the question, yes, it is? Or are you saying, yes, it is a troll? Both. Okay. They're definitely, they're definitely, they're definitely the best of everything. People are so funny. <laughs> no, but it's funny because people don't know the stories behind things or, you know, people's private lives. So, to make assumptions. I gave you an assumption. But thank God my period was too late. I was supposed to give a period on my wedding. And I'm honestly, I was so happy. I came today. I was like, you know you what? See. Thank you for, thank you for at least postponing it. If I'm gonna release my Lumia phone cover. Yes, he has the rec don't you have the recording? Well, we have it. Yes, we're putting it on my Let's iTunes. Put it on her label. <laughs> no, not on my label. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, we can. <laughs> oh my god. No, you'll never hear this song ever. No, it's so good. It's so good. We gotta get your onesie. Fine. I'll open my own label. The sample says should have shipped out and I we I got Mosey a onesie too. I wanna be called I wanna match our onesie. Mosey onesie. So uh, there's something there. Mosey. Every time I see Miko, I always think Mosey. Hmm. We haven't seen them in so long. I was just thinking about them. When I saw them today, I was like, oh. Good, the wedding. 
Yeah. Um, thank you for the super chat. Abby says, me and my sisters are longtime fans. Can you wish a happy wish Hope and Lily? A Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. We love and are so proud of you. Hope and Lily, Merry Christmas and hug some Hug Hanukkah some Thank you. Did you tell what the oh for does not to tell Moses had the car we already did the whole story but no oh my god no like that is the last thing even when Moses went to record he was like I'm like hi made Jeremy they're like oh god he's so worried you were the years like she I was like I didn't really even like think I never think about anything I'm like oh you just say you're gonna do something you just don't do so I never I never check anything since getting my new phone I don't even have his Instagram on my phone I don't check anything the only reason I use his Instagram on my phone was to like look at accounts that blocked me you have to be like going and look at it but I don't even care about that anymore I literally don't care and I never I like why would I say yeah, don't let Moses leave. Like, I mean, maybe I should have hindsight. Maybe that would have been a good idea. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's kind of funny. Like, that kind of stuff is funny to me. I'm like, whatever. Let's just go back to explain it. Yeah. Rewatch it. Um, let's see here. Everyone really wants the wedding menu, but we kind of said most of it. The wedding menu. I think we said most of it, though. Was there a salad? Um, we didn't have a salad, right? There was some. Um, I wonder if I should look at We'll just do it in the next slide. We'll just yeah, we'll go over the food because we have a list of other things to go over. Um, do you have a honeymoon planned? Yes, we are going to two destinations. We're doing a family vacay, and then we're doing our personal honeymoon in the Maldives. If you could tell yourself, thank you for the super chat, Cindy. Was one, your younger self goes so fast. One thing, knowing you finally found someone, what would it be? Congratulations! Ooh. It's so hard because what if I told my young self one thing and it changed the course of my life? You know what I mean? Like, mm, I would just say, mm, mm, mm. I mean, I you just want to know that you're going to get married one day. I feel like if someone were telling me, like, don't worry, you're going to get married one day. Because I think I was always scared. I was like, it was never going to happen. I was never going to find someone. So you just tell yourself that. But then, I don't know. I'd be like, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, everything leads you to where you're at. So I don't know if I would like go back and be like, don't do this, don't do that. You know, because I think we would have met, like, we talked about this, if we would have met when I was younger, like, because we were both in LA at the same time, I just feel like it would have not worked for multiple reasons. You, for me, everything. It's just, like, I, like, if he was, like, a student, I would have been, like, mm, no, thank you, because at the time, I was, like, I need to marry someone famous, and then I was, like, I don't know, it would have been, like, weird, and I don't know, I thought, like, someone famous and, like, all that stuff was, like, it, yeah. so we weren't met at the right time. Can't wait for your kitchen at Flores videos to come back. Well, it ain't coming back anytime soon. Well, we can be cooking in the kitchen. I was doing that today. I was just trying to find food to make today. I was like in such a good mood. I just had so much energy. I wanted to get out. Well, soon we'll go grocery shopping with my mom and we'll be cooking with her. Yum. I know. I'm She's like, going to teach her how to cook my yeah. favorite dishes. Yay. What's your favorite favorite? The the one and only favorite one is actually it's an okra dish. <laughs> What's okra? A okra plant. they're like little green. I don't know. They're almost like little eggplants, but they're not. They're like little green. It's hard to explain, but they're kind of soft. They have, but it's like a red sauce. So it's it's almost like a pasta sauce, a mm. red sauce with those in it, and there's potatoes and chicken. Oh, and and we usually chicken? eat it over rice. So, like, mm. it's almost like a dish, it's like stuff that you get more in, like, that you get more in, like, Chinese restaurants, like something you can imagine, like, rice with a little mm. bit of red sauce, kind of to eat it, some potatoes, chicken. Oh, did she make that before? Because there was one chicken thing that she, that we had. She made, there. she it's made here, really yeah, she made, but it wasn't with okra. I think it was maybe with, like, peas or, you know. Like, um, I don't think I've had okra. Yeah, I don't remember you having it. Mm, yeah, that's my favorite. I'll learn. I'll learn how to cook your food. But then even just schnitzel, mashed potato, you know, even <laughs> pasta. You should try her pasta. Really? It's good. How about the schnitzel? Because you like spicy sauce. Like mm -hmm. you like spicy red sauce. Yeah. I'm down. That's how she cooks it. Mm. Mm. I'm excited. Yeah, I need to learn to cook your chef. You always eat the food I like. Another super chat. Wild dreams. Hot Trisha and Moses. I'm so happy for you both. Be good to each other. I have to have. Something as special as your love someday. Bless you both. Thank you. And I'm here to say that you're going to get it. Honestly, I never thought I would. And you can totally get it. Do a flip. I don't know what that means. Trisha, do you like AFI? A fire inside. Ultimate emo band. I heard of AFI, but I don't know. I mean, I 
why not Madonna Inn? Trisha, we thought about it. We already had picked again. We, we already picked it. the venue when we saw Madonna, and I was like, "Oh, this is a good one." No, but, but we but we looked at it, and it's the distance. It's again having oh, people yeah. fly into LA and then have to go from LA a couple of hours up north to the Madonna Inn. Mm-hmm. We really, really wanted to be um, considerate of the guests. Like we just knew that that will be kind of the key of the success for everyone. And mm-hmm. it worked. I mean, our guests were in heaven. They were like, this is like a dream. So we, it, that was always in mind was how the guests are going to function. Traveling to LA, being in a place, going to the wedding, going after that. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, we had, the hotel is down the street from us. So having people come, you know, Sunday morning, they just rolled in five minutes. Everyone were here at our house. Uh. Right? It was just yeah. like better than the Madonna Inn or anywhere has. Mm-hmm. I mean, to have all those family members, friends here at our house is cool. the best part. Like, that brunch was so relaxing. We talked to everyone. It was only like 30, 40 people. It was so relaxing. And We have beautiful outdoors. Mm-hmm. We have beautiful, you know, like we finished the living room, the Beetlejuice room. Our kitchen is amazing. We cleaned up the whole kitchen. So we had like a cook cooking there, the islands such beautiful food yeah it was really and good so it was just like we couldn't ask for more i don't think any other option would have been better it for was us. perfect aaron thank you for the super chat sure she looked like a princess you were beautiful thank you so much for that i felt like a princess i was definitely felt the most beautiful felt so magical now the super chat says i have followed you since the beginning i'm so happy you and Moses found each other true love prevails i totally agree i think true love is a truth true love if you're true to yourself true to your heart true to everything i think it does overcome literally everything i said that in my mouth i was like i really do think you can like literally heal people things the planet with love you can heal anything over there the beetle said that love is all you need um why two weddings well we just weren't going to be like extra because we wanted like we the reason i want two <laughs> weddings is like i would the aesthetics like we we love the first but I was like, I kind of want like a white dress too, like on the beach, like, you know, we're beach people and water people. So I was just like, I, and then we just wanted to go on vacation too. So we had destination wedding, but um, yeah. It's kind of- like a, it's, it's a wedding tour. <laughs> exactly <laughs> that. We're going to tour the world. Oh yeah. Cause I want to go to the, I want to stay in the Paris Four Seasons. I followed on Instagram. So now that's all I think about in my head. I want to see the Paris Four Seasons. It's so beautiful. It's like right by the Eiffel Tower. And I want to see the Four Seasons in Italy and Rome. And then I want to go to Tokyo and we want to go to um, Bora Bora and Austria, Israel, Hungary. Actually, my chemical romance, romance just announced a new Eastern European dates in the summer. So maybe we'll go to Budapest. Mama Sharon said, congrats. Thank you, Mama Sharon. And Brooklyn, thank you for the super chat. I'm so, oh, Elena, super chat. I'm happy for you. You two are giving the highest vibrations. I love that. I was saying that earlier. I was literally saying that earlier. Like, this is what it feels. I read so many books and like, you just know you're on the right path when like, you feel good. Like your emotions should like guide your, um, your, your, your path. And they say when your vibrations are good, like every, the universe starts vibrating with you. So like, if your energy is good, you're attracting like, ener- like energy and the vibrations feel high right now. That's why I wanted to go live. Cause it's like, I really feel like everything's vibrating. Like the comments are changing. Like people are being really kind. And I really do think like something changed. And we said that we knew something was going to shift with like the wedding. It just felt like a change as in like the beginning of something. Like it, I, I would say, oh, happily ever after. But I'm like, no, I feel like we just begun. Like we just began something really powerful. So. And also like love exposes the hate. You know, it's like, okay, you can hate and hate and hate. But when you come, if you come here to hate on us for getting married and being in love, then. You're the hater. Yeah, for like, real. Like that's if that's what you dedicate your life to is to hate, then you're that's where the hate is, not here. Yeah, then you're like giving off that vibration. It's not good. And then you're the universe gave me more things to hate if you're hateful. But if you really want to like love everything, like it, I don't know. It sounds like hippy dippy, I know, but like if you really know the, the meaning behind it. Um, Mr. Girl says, Thank you for the super chat. I followed you since the beginning and I'm so happy for you. Inspire me so much. You are beautiful. I know you're so happy today. Thank you. For that. Um, is it hard, Lily? Thank you for the chat. Is it hard being in an interfaith marriage? Do you guys have any Jewish parts of your wedding? No, we did a non-denominational. We're both like we're spiritual and we believe in God, but we're not so much like 
religion, like you have to do this and you have to do that. Like I love Judaism. We celebrate all the Judaism, Jewish holidays and traditions. And then we add on to that with there's Christianity and there's parts of that we like. And then we add on to that more going to higher Krishna, higher powers. I was learning Islam and then you just add more onto that. Everyone just kind of adds a little also, more. We're, we are of the same faith, you know, like you, you don't, we're not people that stop at one point and say nothing else is valid and we're right and you're wrong or like humanity is one story and the story continues. So the Old Testament continuing to the New Testament, which continue into other stories up to today. So there's only one story and it's one human story. And we both believe in that one bigger story. Mm -hmm. It's not, we, you don't, it's not healthy to get stuck on one thing and say, this is my faith. I'm right. You're wrong. This is the only way. Yeah. It's just not the way to go about it. They things. all make sense. We think they're all really beautiful and cool. Um, thank you for the super chat, Aaron. I hope you find peace and happiness. Dope nails, by the way. Thank you. So they're kind of similar. So everyone was asking, they're like, it looks the same because you said those were oh. your wedding nails. I got new, I was going to get black, but I'm so happy I made this decision because everyone's like, when you were doing the rings, like they were like sparkling. They were just so sparkly. And when she brought the black stones, something it was just like, I just don't think they're going to be sparkly. So to change them up, we did something blue there. So I did some blue stones. Um, and she also did, it's really hard to tell. I don't know because of the light. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's capsulated in there. Oh, okay. Well, how do I do? Okay. So you can kind of see there's like snowflakes. It's kind of hard to tell in this light, but there's snowflakes. And then she did this sort of like ice pattern. Yeah, that's pretty good. She did like this ice and it's really, really cool. It's hard to see the detail. It, it took a, these took a little longer. Usually it takes like an hour. They took about three hours, but um, yeah, she did each one different. And yeah, there's something blue in there to make it a little wedding vibes, but I wanted black, but then I was like, you know what? I, I think that's going to look so pretty. And it did. It looked really pretty in the lights. And everyone kept saying your nails. And I really, really liked them. So thank you so much. Oh, people are still saying okras. Yes. Okay, okras. What's your favorite crystal or rock mineral? We just got a huge crystal today. <laughs> Somebody just gave us a gift for a wedding. Yeah. It's this big. It's a of solid. Course, this big. Like, you know, you usually see sports. a crystal. It's like the whole, it's one big crystal this big. I just picked it up. It's amazing. Um, so to answer your question, my favorite is it's not quartz, it's it's the one you got me, that black one. Is it called tourmaline or something? Or term tourmaline. Tourmaline. That's the one that like wards off negative energy. I really like that one. Rose quartz is the prettiest, but makeup edits. Trisha, I don't agree with everything you do, but honestly, you look so happy and I wish you the best. Thank you. And I appreciate that and I get it. I feel like as humans, like you can never please everyone, you can never be perfect. You'll disappoint people. That's just like human nature. But like I really appreciate that and I really do. I am trying, there's times where I'm like, oh, I will get so angry, upset. And I'm like, you know, you just like let it go. And I really do feel like it's working and helping and just letting things go, not sweating the small stuff, all that stuff like that. I think it helps because there could have been a lot we could have complained about our wedding. And um, like anything I say about it is always just like help other people that like are planning weddings. But other than that, like it's never to complain. Um, so yeah, El Frank is asking again, 10 shekels. Oh, the shekels. <laughs> What is your rising sign? Oh, did we figure that out? You need to give me the time you were born. There's a website you put it in. Somebody told me, man, I can't remember. You don't, I don't know if I know mine. I was gonna say mine, but I don't think I know. But we're almost, I mean, we're there was some. I should look. I don't want to say it wrong because now I'm like, you're just astrology. I don't want to say something wrong. I can't remember, but we'll, actually, we'll we don't know. find out. We'll find out. Thank you for always making us feel part of the family. I never love you, Trisha. And thank you guys for making me feel part of your guys' family. It's so crazy to, like, have this connection. I was thinking that when, like, Daniel and Catherine and Brian were there. I was just like, it's so crazy. Like, you meet people on the internet and they become, like, an important part of your lives. Like, I told each one of them. And it's true. I follow them. And I follow their journey. And it's like, we don't talk all the time. But it's, like, really crazy. Or just anyone. I follow a lot of people online where I don't know them. But I feel, like, connected to them. And, um... It is a crazy journey we are on. So thank you guys just as much. Um, congrats from Saudi Arabia. So happy for you. Oh, you know, your family was saying, or other people too from Israel were saying that they can go to Dubai now. Yeah. They just have like signed a treaty or something. Oh, so you could technically connect in Dubai. We could. To um, go. Because that's one of them. You can either go to, to connect in China or in Dubai, but Dubai was a, a shorter connection. I think as it gets closer, we just figure out the best flight and you know with restrictions also with all the new variants and stuff we'll see where it's better to go oh right right, right. here you 
will you buy a house in Israel? Actually, my mom just sent us an article. It's like, Tel Aviv is like the most expensive place to live. So maybe not buy, but maybe like rent. Israel is expensive. Like buying an apartment in Tel Aviv costs probably as much as our house here. What? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so expensive. I mean, it's like... How? How is that even possible for people? It's a small country, small real estate. There's not a lot of, you know, and I don't know. I it just, it's kind of like... Israel is like a little small Manhattan. <laughs> there's like, you know what I mean? It's like, there's like this one small area. Everyone wants to be there. Oh okay, so to answer that question, no, dang. We're trying to get a lake house for this cause. So that's that's my manifestation. We're trying to get a lake house, our Vegas house. That's our next goals right there. Um, are you guys having a Hebrew Jewish camera with you? Mm, probably not. It just seems like I actually just don't know the rules of it. So you'd have to like plan. I don't even know. I don't know. And also, I don't think I can if I'm not converted. I think that's like they're a little more judgy. Know. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I don't know what the difference is. Really, it's it's just a question of how the priest or rabbi says. It's the same words in just different variations. There's um, a glass to break at the end. You kind of step on a glass, you break it. It's funny. There's so many things that can go wrong in a Jewish wedding that in other weddings mm, you don't have. Fall off the chair. Like, some people can't break the glass. Like they try so hard and it won't break. Some people break it and a piece of glass like gets into their leg. Oh god! Some people, oh my like, god! Some people try to break it and it just flies off. Oh uh, yeah, it would hit someone in the face. Like ours was then, on stage, it would like hit somebody. And then there was there's the thing they lift people on chairs and people fall off the chairs. Oh my god! There's so many weird things that I would like but, to do one day. <laughs> I, my mom just told me that um, she was at a wedding and they had actually a small sofa and the groom and the bride were both sitting on the sofa, oh, that, lifting oh, an entire god. sofa. <laughs> That's smarter. Then, That's safer. But something happened in our. So I was downstairs checking on the, you know, they were building everything up. I was just checking, making sure, making last minute changes. And for some reason, in the middle of the aisle, out of nowhere, there was just one glass thing for a candle, just one, like nothing. So somebody talked to me and I just turned and walked and kicked it. And I had boots on and broke that glass. So Either way, like that happened somehow. You know, yeah. I broke that glass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you should have kept it so we could have put it in those little mezuzahs. I see ones where you could put the glass right. in them. Should have kept those. I don't know. If it meant to be, it happened. But... Beautiful couple, beautiful wedding. MCR is coming to Sweden. Please visit it Stockholm. I'm going to go on a My Chemical Romance tour. I was going to go on, I was going to follow him everywhere when I was single, but now that I'm married, I got a partner to come so, with me. So why did you do your own tour in smaller venues next to their venues? Just follow them. I mean, <laughs> this is why I married him. This is why I married him. <laughs> oh my god! But that's perfect. You have your own show, which will also. And then <laughs> you know what I used to do when I was doing this was so weird. Sometimes our shows would start at like four o'clock. I'd go do my show at four, and then I'd go to their show after. That's insane. That's like so. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, wow. Please, if you're a tour promoter, please let me know. <laughs> Think about it. Then you have the audience that have more things to go to. Because that usually happens when you have a big number, smaller shows come around. You know, so if they sell out like, well, we'll we can get like a venue oh, for yeah. like 400 to 1,000 people. What if I just open for my chemical romance? Well, then that will happen. You know what I mean? Then, because the, they'll be in town and they'll have nothing to do one night and they'll come to your I show. I should cry thinking about it, you guys. I'm <laughs> like crying right now thinking show. about this right now. Can you imagine <gasps> you're performing and you're seeing him? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, it's crazy. Yeah, by the way, for all those people who are like, why don't you use an instrumental version of Black Parade? It's like, because I wanted to hear his voice. I wanted to have Gerard Way's voice in our in it and it was perfect. So I wouldn't use an instrumental. Although my, my walk was very short. It did quickly um wild dreams by the way moses shout out to for recording a song for trisha she's such a musical and a musical person that it made you a thousand more likable love it yeah you guys i mean i can't wait for us to even see it that the, like you singing to me i was just like i was like it that was also shock i was just shocked shock at the happening. beginning i was like not sure of like i didn't know what was happening all of it and I, even though what was happening i was like this is crazy. Well, even the fact that you were heard it starting and you didn't still didn't understand was me. That's no, a, that's kind of good. That's a compliment. Of course, I was just like, "What is?" And then I'm like, "How did you do this? And when? And why?" And this is. It was great. I loved it. Madison, thank you for the super chat. I'm so happy for you both. Legit. Once you got engaged, I realized I was also ready for that step and told my man he proposed. 
9, 12. Yay. I'm so happy. Congratulations. Honestly, being engaged was like the funnest, but honestly being married and like actually getting rid of the wedding is like literally so fun. And I like wish I could redo it and we are going to redo it, but like I love it so much. And it's literally the best feeling in the whole world. We were just smiling. I've just been beaming all like since we got married. I'm just like, this is crazy. We're married. And I've been wearing wifey things and Miss Hackman <laughs> things. And she has cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I've been just very excited to be a wife. And I'm so, it's crazy. It's, we're married. Look, out, look at those rings. I'm just going to turn on lights. We don't need a light. Let's just turn on. Because we we'll probably stop soon. Let's we'll turn on a light real quick. Somebody was asking about their necklaces. We talked about it at the beginning. It was a oh, gift yeah. from my family. So go back. Check it out. This oh. specific one is our astrological signs. The what? And it also says OM. OM. Um, I have to stretch my legs. Yeah. <laughs> same. This is our honeymoon tags. I got this in our Mr. Mrs. box. It says, and now, and so the adventure begins. Let's go. These are like luggage tags or passport and a luggage tag for our thing. I'm so excited. We're just really excited. Oh my God. I'm, what if I, what if I have a romance? What if Sad Boy opens for them? <gasps> Could happen. The right. Okay. I need to seriously, I need to get those sad boy together so we can like even do like a little show here in like LA to just like get some footage out there. And maybe we do like a couple covers. Oh my God. You can definitely do a show in LA. I know venues, but you could perform it. Because that's what our dance company did was like, you know, 99 to 100 seat. Because under 100 seats, you don't need um, union. So you can kind of do whatever you want. Need you in over 100. I did ones that were like 2000. The people working the stage definitely were you. Yeah. Oh, well, we didn't hire him, we just came with the club. That's what I'm saying. But here you come, you have the space, you do whatever you want. So we did, we ran the lights, everything. We did, we did the show. What is the mint? What is the mint hold? I don't know. Have you been? Yeah, it's more jazz. No, they have like rock shows. Sometimes they have like rock shows there. Well, when I went there, it was like jazz on Pico. Mm -hmm. yeah i mean it is kind of that but <gasps> but there's oh so there's clubs that you just you can just you just get the space we were just talking about this last night too because you used to tour with a dance company and then i used to do my tours and you're just saying how fun it was and like the, you know you're really bonded and stuff like that and i was like yeah me too i miss it i'm like it's kind of sad it's over but then you're like no it's like this and more because i'm like but now we have our marriage you know but then we can have that plus tour and i was like you're right we could go out together i can run the show i used to run the show as well. oh. Oh my god the lights, the you are so yes. talented moses is like very very talented like i don't know i just you know when you do your own thing for so long you're just like no i'm like the best at everything like you're 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 cute nice try but also like no he's like so good at everything it's like, okay anyways that would be amazing i'm gonna just cry i'm just gonna cry that's crazy okay sorry did the dog come to the wedding? No. So a lot of people ask about <laughs> that's if the dog comes to the wedding. A lot of people will see diapers on them and they like get really mad about it. And it's like they we put diapers on them because when they get really excited, they pee every time. It doesn't matter how many times they see you. If a new person comes in the door, it doesn't matter who it is. My mom, my sister, us. Like it does not matter. They will pee everywhere. They spray everywhere. So we put diapers on them when they first walk in because they just pee everywhere. They'll pee on your everything. Just for like ten minutes because it's literally yeah. when you walk in, they jump on you. They're happy, then they come down, and it's done. But at that yeah. moment, they jump on you. So, could you imagine a wedding? <laughs> all these people, they're going to pee everywhere, and everyone's in white. And, like, it just, it, uh, and my sister was like, I just want to, like, chill. And they're dogs. At the end of the day, they're dogs. But also, I get it. Yeah. It's, I, I it's feel, not fair for the animals, too. No. There's loud music, people cheering. Like, mm -hmm. it's just it's a lot of triggers. I think if my sister got married, maybe she'd have them, like, down the aisle. But even then, it's, like, really hard. She has to find someone to, like, take care of them and stuff. But, no, but like, in her case, let's say she has a brunch in her house, then, you know, it just yeah. happens naturally. Just, this is why did you wear a black wedding dress? Look, words on you. Um, I actually like always thought about wearing a different color dress than white. I never really pictured myself in like a white wedding dress. Maybe I'm doing it for the beach, but um, I thought about pink, like coming to America or like, like blonde. And then um, obviously I've seen people in the black, and I was like, oh, black is really pretty. And I I wanted like originally I wanted like my chemical romance themed like you know black braid all that stuff. So it kind of just made sense. And then the specific black one I got, I saw Christine Quinn. Everyone's like, oh, you stole her thing. I was like, well, I did see her uh, designer. And I was like, oh, that's pretty because it was sparkly. And I never really saw a black sparkly dress like that. So I got, I designed the top. The top. So the top, nobody has that top. Um, Christine's was beautiful, but it was also like you could get that in white. So she just got it in black basically. And I could have gotten that exact same top if I wanted. It wouldn't have looked flattering on me. So I, my actual cut was like 
all custom. Everything was custom. The stars, the things that like, United stars, the over this, like everything was custom because my body is just not tall and beautiful like Christine's or Galila have mainly designs for tall, thin, beautiful people. And I'm just a little short, chunky one. And um, they actually made it really good to be flattering. Like as far as like the mesh, like that was custom. Um, they just really wanted to like accentuate my waist and it just looked really good. They did a really, really good job on that one. But the reason my second dress didn't work so well is because it's made for someone with smaller boobs and like just a longer torso. And it's just made for like a beautiful person like Christine. So I went with the dress because I like the sparkly, but I changed the top completely to keep my boobs supported. I had straps, so they were hoisted. They put some thing underneath to hoist them. And I'm very short. I don't know if I'd recommend long dresses for short people. It kind of looked a little – I always think of Jinxie from Pokemon Go when mm. I wear those long dresses, but no. it's in my head. But you it's like funny. Pokemon Go, so it's fine. The necklace is everyone keeps asking. These were our wedding gifts from um, Moses' family. We actually have two more. Um, but we decided to wear these, but yeah, they were, we did a whole explanation on mine says, um, Trish and Moshe and his is our science together, which is the lunar year that we got married in and the year we're in now. And it says, Oh, like our matcha wedding dresses were not white until the 1920s. All old wedding photos from 1800s, mostly black dress of Victorian Edward and Empress. that's interesting. I didn't know that, but everyone is saying we need to normalize black wedding dresses because they're flattering. I felt so confident in my, like, I don't know. Why yeah, is hard to I mean, pull off? Also, I got to tell you, like, having all the guests um, wear white, for example, it felt like a celebration. Because mm -hmm. it's odd to me. Everyone are complaining about so many weird things. I'm like, no, if, if the guests are wearing black, it feels like a funeral. Mm -hmm. If they the guests were wearing white, we felt like a celebration of life, something new. That's what I'm just, saying. If I'm like heaven. Right. It was mm -hmm. bright. It was exciting ethereal they spiritual looked beautiful. it looked like everyone was getting married and it was it was just amazing yeah and then your dress it's not like it was black you weren't if you were there in the space you would see how it just sparkled mm -hmm. you know it was sparkly and the shape everything about it was good but then same thing is just like people's coming i mean everyone wears white dresses then everyone is copying each other all the time yeah it was so like it happened that two or three people wear lately what black dresses but we saw yeah. it even before it just just how you go about our it. own event planner posted right. she's been posting lots of black dresses she did like way years ago because yeah. i've seen them and i've always liked it and i i never knew and then obviously this was my year of my chemical romance and emo and sad boy and all stuff like that and i was like oh i really want that and like my initial thought was i wear black everyone wears black and i was like no that's too like heavy and then um and then when i just i'm gonna do a black braid i want to wear a black dress because i was gonna do pink but pink oh the other thing with the pink dress is they couldn't do it in pink so i actually went to glee have and see if they could make it pink sparkly um, but they could not get the pink because it's like a very specific, like you have to find the fabric. They can't just dye it because of the glitter they use. So it was like, it, it's actually really hard to source that, even that black one. So, um, that was the other reason I didn't do it. And I knew I wanted sparkly. I see that sparkly dress all over Pinterest and I'm so glad I did because like I posted a TikTok with it. And everyone's like, that's so beautiful because it's so sparkly and it's so beautiful. And that was the goal. And, um, and yeah, I love, right? and I love, yeah. <laughs> it's like, they want you to copy everyone else. Like. Yeah, let me everyone just go white. Dress, so copy everyone else. Otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> and most people, even like designer dresses like Oscar de la Renta or Galila Hav or all those things. Like a lot, like I follow Galila Hav on Instagram. And the one I'm wearing in Maui is one that they make because they make like 10 dresses each collection. And I've seen like hundred about a hundred people already get married in that dress because like everyone buys the same wedding dress like for that season. They change them for like two every there's two seasons a year and they change them in the fall and the spring. So like whoever's getting married at that time, you're all getting the same kind of dresses and people wear the same exact styles all the time. I customized mine completely at the top. I customized it. Even on the bottom, my train was way longer. I was like that. And not that it matters. I mean, I don't care. Like I could, I could copy someone, you know, I don't care. I'd be like, my engagement ring was inspired by Tracy Bingham. Like I love, who cares? Like I, I think it's flattering now that people are, like heard my chemical romance and black freedom. It's like, I want to walk down to that and think I'm like, you should like, that's such a cool song to walk down. Like, I'm glad it's like, you know, you try it. Sometimes things work. Sometimes they don't. And we actually, what people haven't caught on yet is our recession march was also Black Parade. So when Black Parade picks up, it's like, nee, 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 nee. so it's like this really big celebration. Um, like that was really cool. So I, I like that part too. Can you read that? That's our big. Oh, JK. <laughs> so people are asking so many questions about my family. So they really want to be private, but they attended the the wedding. I did dance with my mom. There were more people there were a lot of people there and um yeah just get it out of your system everything's fine <laughs> here you know yeah um 
Somebody said something in Hebrew. It's really nice towards me. So I feel. Like... Yeah, let's hear it. I just read it in, in Hebrew. Hebrew. I love when you read it in Hebrew. Moshe, I'm not going to be able to do this. My sister says you sound so smart when you're speaking Hebrew. When you're speaking it out there, my sister, God, funny. he sounds so cool when he speaks Hebrew. <laughs> I think the same thing is my favorite thing that you do. I love it so much. I wish you would speak it with your family in front of me. When you guys are in front of me, you guys always speak well, English. Well, we're trying to be respectful of the person that doesn't understand. But, but I'm picking up. I understand a little bit. I understand it. Um, thank you for the super chat, Miriam. Most people don't even know what they're looking at their great grandparents wedding photo because there's no white fully dressed steampunk Victorian mm -hmm. for the one. Yeah, Victorian dresses are really cool. Like it's definitely not my style because like I don't look good in like high neck stuff, but but I like it. I had a, a friend that was on Who Wants to Be a Superhero with me. Her name was Pesora and she always dressed in um her name's Asia, but she went by Pesora. And she had all this Victorian stuff that looked really cool on her. Um so yeah, I feel many Arab is here. Well that's cool. If I were to do it, I would – okay, okay. If, if anybody wants some of my other themes that I was going to do and I didn't, I think now because I got it was too late to it, I would do like an Indian-themed wedding. I don't know if that's disrespectful. I don't know because we're not Indian. But I like the idea of that. I would do like an Indian-themed wedding, like Bollywood with all the colorfuls. Or I would do a Twilight-themed wedding, like in the woods. I think that would be really cool, which is also a lot of people do it. But um, They were like, wow, we have a necklace in Hebrew. Yeah, it's probably mirrored, so they probably can't read it. But What is it? And she had one that says Moshiko for a long time, which is two when they're my nickname in Hebrew. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was a question, but I now I forget. So I really just overdo miss the hype. Um, like it was really stressful planning it, but I wish I could relive the day. But it was it, like up until like the day, it was very stressful. Nobody slept, and it was hard. But once we were at the rehearsal dinner, that's when. You're just like, okay, we're entering the actual sequence of events. You know? mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just started moving so fast. And also, you're like, start, like your guests are arriving. You start spending time with family. Like your family and my family met for the first time. That night. So yeah, we're, that so was. That was nice. Mm -hmm. It was really fun. And yeah, it was really good. Why does he look like Jesus? <laughs> I don't. Do you know what Jesus looked like? But, oh, now I remember what somebody asked. What? did i feel when you walked down the aisle? oh that's a good one so that was the first time my heart was like beating really i was like okay they're about to open the curtain and i saw a little bit of black between the <laughs> the gap in the curtain like she's there she's back there <laughs> i was like my heart was like oh, oh. and the music started <laughs> and that was really emotional like because we always listen to the song mm -hmm. i heard the song like oh man the song is good <laughs> that's a good choice <laughs> and then you walk down with your dad and then um your dad was just so happy i mean he was mm -hmm. just like in heaven the whole weekend yeah so then uh walking down i was like shaking his hand mm -hmm. thanking him i cried i cried when we were about to walk down too and i was like next to my dad and like uh i just you know the one thing i kept praying for i'm like such a paranoid person i'm so like like weird i was just like i always just wanted to get married like with my family and i know like not everyone's like lucky enough to get to do that you know people pass away and stuff. And I was just like, at that moment, I was like, oh, I'm just so happy. Like my dad and my mom would see me get married because I just know they're both like worried about me and stuff. And I don't know. Again, I know not everyone's like lucky to have that. So I was like so excited. And the fact that like, you guys are like similar in the good ways and not similar in the <laughs> not so good ways. And it was just like, it just was like really cool. And I just know he loves you so much. And that's what makes me happy because it just was like, oh, like this is, it all just felt good. And I was so excited. And why I thought, I was so nervous to look at you. I don't even think I looked at you until like the very end. I was just so nervous. I was like, I didn't look at anyone. I didn't even see our families, nothing. I was just like. I don't know. I was so nervous. It was, I was, I was nervous. And I saw you. I was like, oh, you look so handsome. I was looking at you. I was like, oh, so pretty. Mr. Like when we were up on the stage giving our vows, get, basically getting married, I didn't look at anyone else. It was like this tunnel vision yeah, same. of just you. It was just you and me. And everything that was said was just between you and yeah. me. And it, was it, like, it felt that way. It was like our moment getting married like that was the it's fun because the whole night started with that which was the kind of the highlight mm -hmm. and then everything was fine after that it was whatever like the vows were like the best part yeah getting married was the best part i mean i mean she just, walked in people were cheering like i've never seen that yeah before. yeah they Usually don't it's like quiet <laughs> the person walks down yeah people are emotional but 
we're so excited to see her. Everyone, Aww. me and everyone in the room, we're just so excited to see her going. To the that stars. was cool. They were like, just... I love that video. My main makeup artist Ari had this video of me going in, and it op- like it has the indie, it has the song, and then it opens the curtains, and everyone just starts cheering, and she's like, "Oh my god!" Like it was so yeah. unexpected. It was really cool. What's also cool about that song is that was the song of my ringtone when we first met. <laughs> so when you come to my house, like it would play like the um the high part of it. Yeah, the nee, 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 nee. yeah, it's like. So when it so when it goes like it, I think of like when I get a phone call from my postmates, it'd be like, hey, there's a postmate here. I had a different text message one. I had the blood one, blood, blood, gallons of the blood, but that was the one. So, anyways, um, did you drink? What says what drinks did you have? Um, I mean, I I usually drink just tequila on ice. Did you I have some that night? I had a little bit, yeah. So at the wedding, of, or yeah, a couple of people at the wedding, like. I was like, do you want something? So they went to the bar. And oh, the that's good. You were really, I guess that's why you were saying too. You were really like, um, you, I don't know, not that you don't usually, but you were having like a, a good time. I was, I was thinking, cause I was like, at one point I was like, I'm getting tired. I'm like, I was getting tired and I was like, oh, it's almost over. And you're like, I don't want it to be. I was like, oh, okay. It was really fun. Well, what happened was the, there was a moment where our bodies caught up to us. Like yeah. this was literally the last five minutes of the wedding. Like it was right by the end as like suddenly like your feet the sh- like everything suddenly your body you just feel it you feel your feet mm. you feel everything i was like i need to get out of these shoes i need mm-hmm. to get out of this clothing so someone yeah. asked if i drank and i actually did not because i get sleepy it's not even anything it's like i would probably like pass out and the other thing i wish we would have done i saw it on tiktok is i wish we would have had like when people like an exit, like a grand exit, like people hold sparklers or fireworks that go off when you leave. I wish we had a grand exit. We kind of just were like, okay, it's over. It was midnight. I'm like, let's go back to the room. Well, I wish we had a grand it was exit. Like, the thing is what happens every time we have a party or we host people, what happens is we're the first one to retire. Like yeah. usually, usually we'll just go back. We'll just go to our bedroom, close the door and people are still be out there. They're still. <laughs> That's why it's great. So we're we're just, we just let them, you know, take their time and do what they want. So here at the wedding, it was almost that. It's almost, we get to a moment where we're just like, okay, we should go and just leave everyone here. They're yeah. Not, they're still dancing. It's like people were just mad. But that's what you you would do if they, everyone had sparklers for you. You would leave first. You'd be the first to leave and everyone else stays behind. We should dance. Okay. Anyways, babe, I just realized <laughs> what are we we're on the Wi-Fi, not the Ethernet. You have to turn the Wi-Fi off for this to work. No, sometimes, I mean, the, I think the computer knows to pick the faster, I mean, there's no issues. Oh, okay. Yael says, what do you say? And I love you, Moses, song after Shulchet Me. I'm Israeli and I can't understand the words before. He has Rally Ba'ofek. Oh. And, and Israeli Ba'ofek. There's no Israeli inside. Shulchet Me. No. Shulchet Me. Ben As. Oh. Oh. What is it? No, there is. Oh, that's what she's saying. It's basically the burning bush is burning bright and there's no Israeli in sight. Like that's what you wrote at first. Like it was rhyming in English. Right. The bush was burning. The- Burning the bush bright. was burning bright and no Israeli in sight. Yeah. <laughs> it was so hard to translate that to Hebrew. We did so good on that <laughs> yeah. one. That was and like. Then, that was a Demadayan. We were at the room just Madonna writing the song. A good vibe though. We, we need to go up there. Like, I love Madonna. And the last time we went up there too was like such like a, a good vibe. It's like a retreat. It was so funny. And it's also like this natural drug. I swear last time we were up there, I was just like getting so high. Like snuggling. Like, mm, this feels so good. Like, we were just snuggling. It was so weird. Well, last time we had that room at the pub. Yeah. I don't know. That's a good vibe up there. Um, it's not as clear as it usually is with the other tape. It's because it's dark in here. Usually I have the light, so it's getting darker. So I feel, or you're saying just in general, I think, I think it, it doesn't need to be off the internet, but it's fine. It's not as clear as it usually is. Um, yeah. now it's the light. Yeah. We usually have the studio lights on, but yeah. now we literally, there's no light. The sun just went down. Um, did you play sad boy at the wedding? No. Someone requested freaky. We didn't play sad boy. We should have sad boy was there. The whole band was, was there. It was pretty cool. When's the next wedding? It's it's soon-ish. Congratulations to Trisha and Moses. You guys deserve fabulous. Thank you. I want to see a movie. Not me random, but I really wanted to see. I almost wanted my mom to go see West Side Story, but I was like, I want to see West Side Story. Well, I mean. What night? We have time. Oh, okay. I've just been like in such a good mood. I'm just like, I just want to like 
live life. Yeah, I think we'll talk about that. Um, That'd be fun, actually, just to go see a movie. Zone and relax. Or we got lots of videos to watch from our. I know, we've been going through all our yeah. things too. Is the Pamela, oh no, it's not out of February. I want to see the Pamela Anderson, Tommy Lee thing on Hulu. Is that out yet? Mm -hmm. I want to watch that. And then there's a really good one coming out February, Marry Me, Jayla. Um, Moses, Arab people love you. They said Arab people love you. Love you too. My family is Arab. Really? Well, oh, their yeah, lineage. Like from my father's family from North Africa, from Libya, and my mom's from Turkey. Those are Arab countries. Lisa says, can I please get a shout out to my quad from New Zealand? Love you guys. Is the quad or squad? Because you wrote quad, but are you being squad? But either way, cool. I guess there are four, right? Oh, a quad. Okay, I like that. We were just watching, um, I was thinking about that story. We were just watching TikTok and an old one of ours came on and it was the one, Usna Beyond Night, you barely even danced with me. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I've been trying all night. You've been the, you've been shaking your ass for like half of the night. Real nice. You, you never get a chance. You barely gave me a chance. chance all evening. What? Will I get another dance? I'm leaving. <laughs> Something about those sounds. Like it really does take you back to that time. I was like, that was kind of fun. I don't know. I just remember like being by the pool and tanning. Yeah. And then well, going when to I the saw movies. the video, I was just like, wait, what is it about that? And I was like, yeah, it was a pool day. So I was like, yeah, summer, like, it was good vibes. Weekend. Yeah, we, we have those seasons. Can't wait for it to warm up and be swinging again. Yes, please, please keep doing daily lives. Well, we'll probably take a break in January. I think just now we're like it's the timing is right and stuff. But it, it the thing is, it is consuming. You have to like kind of be done. Like for me, I have to be done in the middle of the day to do these because it's like you know I don't want to do them too late. Um, I really like doing them though. So like maybe like once a week or when I'm glam. You know, when I'm glam, I usually do videos. But like maybe when I'm glam, I'll do a live. Um. And then, of course, we were so excited with all the comments. So, will there be a professional wedding video? Yes. But with the mm -hmm. photographer and the videographer, they were like six to eight weeks. And I know that's like normal, but it's like, you know, this is this is, this is is the internet. You know, they want the real time. And so did I. You know, our videographers are really nice to give us all the raw footage. Like, that's kind of unheard of. Oh, look at the, oh, what is that? Gold? A shekels? <laughs> Toad off of the shekels TikTok. What's up, TikTok? I know we don't really pay attention to you guys, but we love you just the same. Actually, I'm more... More viewers on TikTok. That's so funny. I didn't even notice that. That's how it goes nowadays. Yikes. Okay, well. <laughs> um, but, oh, there was something else. What? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, oh, they keep the asking. They keep asking about the last name. And I'm like, oh. just think about it. It's logical. Like, you can't take somebody that has the name Trisha Paytas and change her last name. You know what I mean? Like you can't do that. No. It's like saying Michael Jackson got married and now he's like Michael Hackman or something. Like, you, know, <laughs> you don't change the last name of somebody. That Sometimes is. they add it. Like Courtney Cox became Courtney Cox Arquette. But that was also a famous last name. Not to say right. yours is not. But no. But usually you don't. Pamela Anderson. All I'm saying is like you can um, integrate mine into it. But you can't change your name. And then our kids can have both. You know. Yeah. They can have both. Because maybe one of our kids would rather have Paytas as their last name. So yeah. They should have that option, you know. Mm -hmm. So, well, you even said when they were asking what to announce us as, you're like, should it be Paytas Hockman? And I was like, no, it's, it's cute to be Mr. and Mrs. Hockman. And I think it like it kind of reminds me of that Smash song, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. We're like, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, simply the like. It's kind of a cute thing. It feels like our, it feels like the real us, you know. If I'm like, yeah. oh, Trish and Mr. and Mrs. Hockman. Well, the wedding itself, it's cool, yeah, because everyone there knows that. Yeah, so that's not it. But I think even traveling, you know, I would say like Trish. Well, Hockman, you can like, use that when you want to check in. Well, now we told everybody, so they'll come find us. No, but it's still, it, it just doesn't ring a bell, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the people. Trisha Hackman on Instagram, whoever owns that, was like, I have it, I'll sell it to you. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. We have our own Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> We're not going to start a new one. And also, like, legally, it's just so much work. Like, I have a friend that's really private, and she hasn't even changed her name. She's been married 10 years and been with this guy for 15 years. She's never changed her name. She's like, it's just so much work. You have to change your passport, social security. You have to do all, and it's like, you know, like, I'm just, it's okay. The checks, everything, come to my room. Can you shout me out? What up, Bella? Thank you for the super chat. Um, do you feel blessed having two weddings? Yes, I feel blessed having one wedding. I feel blessed having any wedding or any marriage or any husband and um, not any husband, but a husband. Right. It's like hmm. come to Japan, please. Yes. yes. Oh my god. Did Moses have a wedding scent? One that doesn't bother him, of course. No, he doesn't wear a, what? a wedding scent. They ask your wedding scent. Just all natural. 
there's there's definitely a lot of smells that I like, but I didn't I didn't um I didn't think of it. <laughs> it's like a thing, but yeah, I didn't yeah. I did spray some on. I had it in my purse and I was like, let me just spray some, but um so happy for y'all. Thank you, Joseph. Um Bella, where the hell have you been, Luca? <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel stronger bond now that you're married? Yes. That was like, is it when we got engaged, I felt a stronger bond. And then once we got married, it was like, whoa. It really felt like, we're it. This is it. In it for the long haul. So happy for you, Trisha. Thank you. I love the name Spiritual Growing Pain. Oh, little look at the origami duck. I they, wish they really have their game. Their, uh, I, their I, animations I, of the gifts. It's so pretty. I feel like we're having a second wedding over here on TikTok. Everyone just giving us gifts. It's like, thank you guys so much. Um, this, I wish I wish YouTube had gifts. It's actually really cool to look at that pop up. Joanna, is there anything you kept? Thank you for the super chat from the wedding day for memories. I kept the cork to our champagne bottle and a slice of cake to eat a freeze a year later. Well, I'm I'm I the person that anything. I'm the person that keeps the stuff. So like all the stuff that I kept were like um, cards, you know, like cards from the hotel, things that welcome us, things that had our names on. Did there. you keep them? Um, That's just. Funny. Like the, our menus, all kind of things like that. Like I, I like to keep stuff. And we have a little shrine that has things for all the way from our engagement to today. You, to you did days. that. It's Moses' shrine. It's so cute. Yeah. He started it in the old house, and I was like, "It's like a little shrine of all our things together." That's exactly what it is. You are so funny. You don't strike me as a type to do that. That's why it is so funny that you're. It's something naturally that I do in my office, but anywhere. Like I'll start putting objects that I like, and you have your um the water mask that you wore for the video down there. I'm like, who keeps that? I would have thrown that away. Like that's left it so there. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you, I'm glad you, your skin has been glowing since you've been happier. Thanks. Okay, another Hebrew one. Hey, Moshe and What's it mean? Love. Otchem. You, you guys, Oten. I don't know if you guys know Oten. Im it seems to make everything plural. Oh, but that's more like on like verbs or. Habarim. I'm going wedding dress shopping in two days. Do you have any tips, Meg? Well, wedding dress shopping was like the least stressful. I will say this: pick your budget wisely. Just know you're gonna probably spend like another like another fifty percent. On alterations, ask or, about or ask about alterations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ask. Be like, or how much are alterations going to be? Be honest, like upfront, and also ask about veils. My veils were like three thousand dollars, and I was like, mm, I thought that was like included in this package, but you should ask about that. Which that makes more sense. Alterations, I'm like, I get it, but they will, yeah, be really mindful of that. You just have to click with the designer and know, kind of like ahead of time everything yeah just be yeah really ask those because they will charge you for rush fees they'll charge you for everything um and try to find a dress at least that they made that you know because like your second dress yeah like they're oh you know what i mean like yeah find, just know that they know how to either work with whatever shape body type that's color, true style don't take them out of their comfort zone because then you don't know what That's you're true. Get. That's kind of why I wish I would – Ryan Walter, who did my second dress, I wish they kind of did my first dress, even though I love my first dress. Like, I just felt like they knew my body so much more. So they could have given me what I wanted as my first dress, probably the same, but maybe a little more lifted. In the, but whatever, it was still fine. But um, they work with, like, curves and, like, that kind of stuff and boobs. They know how to, like, accentuate and make it smaller. And they know all that stuff. Um, I think Leo Hop was – what happened? Oh. Did I scratch myself? No, somebody asked, did you wear something blue? I wanted to see if you had the oh, earrings. Oh, I didn't want the other day. Moses got me sapphire earrings for my wedding day. Where are they? They're on the show. Yeah, if you want. And I do love them. And I – actually, I can keep them in. I mean, you can usually keep studs in. And, like, see no, it's going to be comfortable. I mean. I mean, but usually I used to keep them in for years. All right, guys. We're going to be here for another nine minutes. So get your last minute questions and we'll be back probably um, – I think tomorrow I'm recording, but maybe Wednesday we'll be back. What are your guys' moon signs? I actually don't know that either. I like we'll I, find it, mm -hmm. man. I knew we just did. We'll, you know? We'll, somebody asked me like what time I was born because yeah. I think that's how they find it. Mm -hmm. So I think it was like four a.m. or something. So I think we'll on our find out. next live, one of our next lives, we'll do opening wedding gifts because they're all lined up and they're just. I almost don't want to open them because they look so pretty. And I love looking at them. I'm like. And we didn't ask for anything, but like people did bring some stuff, and that was really nice. But um, I'm, that's why I'm excited because we didn't ask for anything, so I'm excited to see. Um, someone keeps saying "Life of Pi." We saw it. We loved it. I don't know if that's what you're asking, but we loved it. When I wear honeymoon, we are doing the Maldives. 
It'll be next year, though. It's not this year. Um, what song did you get to? Our first song was I Can't Help Falling in Love With You. Elvis. Which is perfect. And, yeah. We had Elvis from Legends playing. He was so good. So, yeah. That was one thing, though, that I didn't show was <laughs> after we did our intro, What Dreams Are Made Of, like, and we were supposed to go right into our first dance and Elvis was supposed to come out and perform. And we were there for, like, four or five minutes. Like, well, it probably was not. We were like, that was probably four minutes. I thought that was, like, four minutes. Three, it was like, two. Two minutes, but then, like, I started singing. So uh, they couldn't find Elvis. I'm like, and then he came out, and then I was like, the other wedding singer who was really good, but he started singing. Can't I'm like, no. And I literally was like to Moses, and I was like, just go with it. I'm like, no, no, like this is not it. I wanted Elvis to sing our first. That was the whole thing. It was I wanted Elvis to sing, and he was really nice and really then, good. But then he showed up, and the minute they but, started singing, like his voice, he oh, was so good, amazing. So it, like, it blew me away. But also, it. why was he not on stage? Why was he just like off to the corner? I don't know if it was like he was a surprise, I guess, like having him walk in. I get that. No, it wasn't. If he was just uh, yes. standing there. No, I agree. But why did he go to the stage? He walked in. Why wouldn't he walk in up to the stage? Okay. So you remember when you were going after me to find me in the kitchen? Yeah. That's the shortcut to the room behind us where all the band, the stuff, um, that was like their backstage in a way, like the green room. So I think that's where he was. He did like a shortcut. <laughs> so they were trying to find him. So he came back. He probably came out from the oh kitchen. Oh my god! Then... This is what I'm saying. Like little stuff like this that seemed like really easy. I was just like, well, I don't understand. Like that they knew, they knew. Like they kept saying, "This is this." We had this like so perfectly planned, and I was just like, "What Again, happened?" It's, it's a wedding. It's not a show performance. That's like, why if you're in the position that I was in, and you have production crews, maybe hire a production crew for your wedding because it's a literal yeah. production. <laughs> And my productions always go swimmingly, and it makes me appreciate my music video production crew so much more. I'm like, you know what? They're actually so efficient. Not to say they are, but it's, you know. Um, oh, my God. I wish we had a crumble cookie. I wish we had a crumble cookie right now. What? Oh, I wish I had a crumble cookie right now. They just came out the new flavors this Monday. Oh. Now we tell me. We no. can go. We have a lot of places you're going to take me tonight. Crumble cookie in the movie. Cookie? Cookie. It's getting dark. How do you say it? Ugia. 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 Um, she's so pregnant. You guys, I'm not. I got my period. Honestly, I would have thought that too, but I did get my period. Actually, I threw up. Um, and I didn't drink at all at our wedding. I threw up that next morning, and I thought I was pregnant because I was a day late. I thought I was pregnant. Um, what did I throw up though? I don't even know. I was so sick. I don't know. Maybe it was the cold fish. <laughs> Oh, that was the other thing. My my mom asked them for to go because two people didn't show up at their table or something. And so she asked for to go meals. And they're like, oh, you have to sign a waiver if you want us to put your food to go and that you won't, that if you get sick, you, it's not our fault. Yeah, they did that at the rehearsal too. I remember there was somebody sitting next to me and they took food because her husband was waiting outside. What? So I've never heard them. They had her sign a waiver. Yeah. I guess, I mean, you know, like businesses are just like, Protecting themselves. I think what happens is maybe um, like somebody would take it, temper with it, and then inflame them or something. I don't know. It's that's all like, crazy. It's legalities, you know. It's like, um, yeah. Yeah, sign the waiver. We should have everyone sign a waiver when they come into our wedding. You never know what's gonna happen. Nobody would adhere to it. Um, what would you do differently? Any advice for people getting married? Mm, muzzle top. Thank you, Addy. Um, no, because even if you do something different, that something different would go wrong or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Just don't expect it to be perfect. The people that come there, they come there for you, for your wedding. They're not coming to see a show. So like if I pay to go see a show in the theater and something goes wrong, that's not okay. But if I go to a wedding, so just think about it. They're there. They love you. Everything that happens to them is like cute and funny and quirky. And so it's like, just enjoy it. Be chill. Once it starts, go with it. Don't start being upset about anything because things will go wrong. It just yeah. like, will. So don't get upset. Don't get stuck on it. Move on and enjoy it. But I night. think I think a really big thing, really big, like the most important thing that I just wish I was more on top of or we were more on top of is like really 
have a budget, stick to it and like figure out how you're paying it like all up front, like in writing, like just be like, I wrote in writing a budget, but it just came more and more and more. And I guess it was up to me to figure out like to budget things, just really be like, it cannot go over. And I do this with my music videos, so I should know better too. I'm like, I should have said, because our original budget was $200,000. So take that for what you will. But like, and it, maybe I'll do a whole budget video. I might still do it. Not to even complain, just to kind of really break it down. But like, I wish I was just more, what's the word? Like more strict. I don't know. I think in general, people will go over budget just to, for a lot of reasons. Maybe they want to make it grander or they, they think you'll bring it down because you obviously work in this field too where, you know, you can inflate, you you um, give a, you go over and then you take things down or whatever as people, whatever. But, and my music videos have never been like that. So I don't, you know, I don't know, but I always give a strict budget. I'm like, it cannot go like a dollar over. And sometimes it goes a hundred dollars, whatever. I don't care. But um, you have to be really strict with that. So or give a lower budget. Like, let's say you want a $30,000 wedding. Say you want a $20,000 wedding because maybe they'll try and like whatever. So my my biggest thing was like, maybe I should have been a little bit more strict on it because if all of a sudden we got our, we got our budget three weeks, like the final like list three weeks before the wedding. And it was, it was beyond double. twice. It was double. It was over double. And it just, it really, that was the stressor of the, the wedding for us. And like, I think that's the only reason it's like a little bit bad. His obviously the wedding was perfect, but it just, we, we had plans. We were going to get this house in Vegas and stuff. So, so our, we had other plans for where the money and we kind of were in a, in this spot that we just should have been more on top of it. And I, and I take blame because at the beginning I was planning this like wedding and stuff like that and taking on all the, the thing. And then I just, and, and also maybe just have everyone involved at the beginning too, because I was more involved than Moses at the beginning. And then it became this thing where he's like, I didn't know this happened. And I wasn't, I was overlooking things. And I was just like throwing money out and not thinking about it. Because I just thought, oh, there's a budget and like whatever. So have a budget and stick with it or go a little under budget so you can um, have and some kind room. Of prioritize like the items you want. Because some things, mm. um, there's a full range of everything food, photographers, bar, everything you're going to get, there's a full range. It goes from like low, medium, high, super high, right? But then what's more important to you? Is the food more important than the alcohol? Is the photographer more important than the decoration? It's like you yeah. have to kind oh, of prioritize yeah. them. And before you even have a budget, tell yourself, okay, I'm going to put 50% on venue. I'm going to put 20% on the food. I'm going to put 5% on the videographer. <coughs> like, give yourself some kind of a priority list and then whatever number you come up with you fit into that you have ten thousand to work with you're like okay i have five thousand for venue i have three thousand for food i have one thousand photographer which is what i if it's a hundred thousand then you know you have yeah, oh three thousand for venue which is what i thought i thought our venue and food was the most expensive things in the budget so we spent half the budget of our two hundred thousand which was the original budget on a hundred thousand was like the location of food but was, i was like for was, me it's worth it it was location food and bar and bar. These are the three biggest items you have in a wedding. And I was like, that's half of it. We're already halfway. It was paid off. I'm like, we're already halfway there. We got a little extra things. Trust me, it wasn't. I was just like, holy shit. Like, I didn't know. And like, so I guess in my head, again, just know that you'd probably, I don't know. Again, work with your planner. Be really, really. And I'm not really like, I'm telling you, like, we had a good experience. Everyone did work really hard to make it good. It just was way more money than anticipated. And I'm kind of like looking back. And it's something that I have to do. Just go back and stuff and like look through everything. So I'm like, how did this add up so much? Which is kind of why I want to do a budget video just for myself. Because I'm like, I don't understand how this added up. Um, and then you kind of got stuck. Oh, a little origami. But anyways, we've hit the two hour mark. So that's our things, but it was, it was great. And like I said, honestly, great and thankful because I know we're not everyone can even have a wedding. I'm most thankful that our families were there. I mean, I was, um, I just, I always wanted my family to be at my wedding and I was always nervous that like they wouldn't be there. I'm like, no one's going to get to see me get married. Cause I thought I would never happen for a while. So that was the most important thing. I think that's why I also kind of like rushed, not rushed it, but I really want to get married quick. Cause I was like, you never know how long you have with your family. And, um, it was just nice to have that memory forever. I'm gonna get emotional and yeah. Well, we'll be back soon. We'll go well, live yeah. a lot. Maybe we'll go live maybe it's tomorrow. I don't know, if not Wednesday for sure. And um obviously we had some time. We're kind of just relaxing now until the holidays. So oh, I got stuff to do. I didn't get anything done. I should have gotten stuff done today. I actually have a list of things I need to do. Just relax. I know. I was just still feeling high. I was like, let me go eat. Let's go get some food. Like I was just, I was feeling good. All right, guys. So, yeah. Thanks guys for watching. This was like one of our highest live chats at one point. It was almost at four. So that was cool. And um, we love you guys. And, yeah, we'll come back. We have some more topics. Except we have uh, stuff that people are asking and we are overlooking. There's definitely topics to talk about. <laughs>
some things that happened today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we got <laughs> stuff to talk about. We were like, let's just make this a cute one. And, oh, <laughs> TikTok is so funny. Um, and all that stuff. Follow us on TikTok. Trish like fish. Moses Hackman, Moses Hackman ASMR. We should do an ASMR video this week while we're we on this will. good. No, because I I'm thinking about like uh, oh, it's I don't know what it would be called, but it's basically a wedding ASMR. Like Ooh, I really want to talk about the fact. Yeah. Yes. Whisper we don't have to whisper. We I can have, just. I'm there's voice. there's a soft spoken. We should have done that with the officiant. He had a really soft ASMR spoken. voice. He's like, "Hello, today we are gathered." Soft spoken. Soft spoken. We'll Anyways, do that this week. Most Hackman Sam, look at Madison. Madison, one of our mods, oh, giving the you. link. Check it out. Most Hackman ASMR. We have a wedding to pay off. <laughs> we have a second wedding to pay for. And uh, yeah, love you guys so much. See you next stream. Bye. Bye. Bye, Tick. <laughs>